Beckers abound, dig fire around, snorting magic and moon dust. For riding dragons flood, semen and blood, summons ready to bust. Crew of fucking beauties, we screw and do drugs all day and night. Healers and dealers, we that clap and fuck our way into the fight. And I do electrify through my penis, I rhymes in full supply. I'm gonna rock cherry, you can't deny risk it with that flip by the name Bless Go. Alright, let's do it. Hey, last time you encountered a drugged out young black dragon named Dracopiate, who you got hooked on moon dust. Then he flew you to his mama's cave in or in return for another hit. Once there, you managed to rescue Ted Red's soul from the lich's phylactery under the nose of the big mama black dragon. Little help from some remaining moon dust, that is. Despite a strong death wish from a few of your comrades, you managed to leave with your bodies unmelted and return to Fancy Feast, Ragnar's home village. When you relay your story to the leader of Fancy Feast, Sugar, he says, I'm glad you got your friend back. The fact that Lady Viriel has been courting this beast is not good news. It means the Order of the Emerald Claw has full intention of finding dragons willing to provide services in return for being given the gift of eternal undeath. And that they may have found some willing to take them up on the offer. Hopefully your trick with the moon dust has convinced this dragon that a life of partying is better than a life of the a misery of undeath. But even if it has, that doesn't mean that others have not already agreed to become Dracoliches in service to Lady Viriel, or even to Lady Ilmaro herself. It cannot be coincidence that you are here. Follow me. It leads you down the corridor to a vault. He he reaches into the vault and he like, you know, he, he turns the turns the door to the vault and he opens it up and he he he, he pushes a few things, he says a few magic words, and all of a sudden the vault opens. You walk inside. And you see this 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 vault of, of area here. And you see that there's some shelves on the vault, and you see that there's a few things laying on the on the floor, various different items of, of sorts. And these items are like, you know, some of them are, are, are normal, some of them look like to you like nothing. I mean, there's like some toilet paper up on the shelf and some various items that would normally like you would think, well, aren't very important, but they're very they're given special places up on top of the shelf. And the floor you see on the floor you see some items that are kind of been tossed about, you know, maybe thrown under, under you know, the, under tables and tossed about in different areas. Um, you see, you know, somewhere you see like some shiny objects down there, and you see some other things. And up on top of this shelf, you see him reach up, and he grabs this, uh, this, this, this like half of a book, and and he, and he hands it to you, and he says, "This book." dropped from the sky before even I was born. It was whole then, or so they say. I was told it was found by a young tabaxi kitten named Cor Corvort. Shortly after the book was found, a young Aarakocra from above flew down to retrieve it. Two fought over the book, and eventually the book was torn asunder. Half of the book was taken back to the village in the sky, and the other half was placed here in the vault. Not until you mentioned dragons that I thought to look at it again. Perhaps you can convince the bird people above to give you the other half. Then you will gain insight on how to stop these foul dracoliches from taking over our beloved island. I'm not sure how you will convince them to give you the book. Even with your friend being one of them, it can be quite ill-tempered. No offense. Looks over at um, Redsome. Perhaps this might help. It's been sitting around for a while and we have no use for it. Good luck. Your blade be sharp and your mind as well. He hands you a pendant. Ooh. Didn't we get a pendant or something from that Turtle Island before? Uh, Turtle Island, we got an emerald nib. Hand. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right. We climb the side of the mountain to reach the village. It is a long climb and it is difficult. 
Perhaps those who can fly can get up there quicker. The rest of you must attempt the climb. Um, what's the um, distance up the mountain? The mountain is high. Perhaps even 100 feet. Dimension door, 500 feet. Uh, um, I'm going to grab one of my war forges that can't fly, and I'm going to dimension door us up to the top of the mountain. Well, I don't. I don't think we can do it right from here, can we? Uh, oh, yeah, we're in. Uh, we're in the vault at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the roof. <laughs> walk outside to the, the area outside there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right outside. When it would be impressive. Out, <laughs> you get what I mean. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, what What's the title of this? Uh, Sigur Razorclaw. Is he like a, a high priest or something? He's the leader of Fancy Feast. He has just recently taken over the previous leader whom's, whose funeral you uh, attended last time, or time before. Ah, uh, okay. Or Bjorn. I got, yeah, I got a question. How much for that yarn? That yarn is catching my eye. This yarn is extraordinarily valuable. Not sure I can part with it, but perhaps I can uh, part with it given something equally valuable in return. Items up here on this shelf are extraordinarily valuable. Ones on the floor, not so much. What about that arm? Are there feet down there? Oh, they're gloves. Okay. I need my glasses. <laughs> oh, I'm getting that arm. <laughs> to be fair, it, it looked like uh, some gorilla legs or something. Yeah, it does, yeah. Can I ask about the pot? What the pot is? Hey, look at that knife. Can I get that knife? Can I buy it? <laughs> no. Life, the knife we may be willing to part with. Who are you willing to give in return? A nice hug. <laughs> uh, a little Christmas check. Charisma check? Okay. It's not gonna work. No. I'm sorry. I cannot part with it. It is <laughs> to our... It's just as bad as when you oh, finish they it. Don't... <laughs> they don't like my hug. <laughs> my wife stealth... did approve. Can I steal it? Can I stealthily steal it? Oh, yeah. Can you wait I until would probably advise it? against stealing from the vault of nah, uh, I like this. crap. Nah, I like this. <laughs> this actually does uh, sound like a good plan. Mind, keep in mind he has a sword with magic on the end of it. Fine. The sword might be magic on the end of it. You don't know. Can I try to steal this? I want to try to steal it now. Five finger discount. Yeah. I have stealth. Right. Do, do. A stealth check. Oh, that's a good stealth check. Okay, you are able to uh, pocket this little item, this little knife. Nice. Can I steal the sword right out of his hand? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the ultimate steal right there. Looks like a nice sword. I just pull uh, out some uh, yarn that I had in my fanny pack. <laughs> I kind of like go like, hey, look over here, look <laughs> over here. Okay, Bondo starts into jumping into, into the it. yarn. That's for sure. <laughs> Bondo's <laughs> getting into it too. Ragnar, you must now depart. Time has come. We'll trade the yarn, my yarn, for your yarn. Oh, they're willing to trade for the yarn. I do like that yarn. I say you go for it. Freaking Brett's a, that's that's it's a nice ball of yarn right there. Where did Retsum get yarn? Oh, I've always had yarn since the beginning. <laughs> since the dawn of time. <laughs> you never know when you're gonna need a good, good ball of yarn. Negotiations are over, you may leave. I will keep my yarn. 
Okay. Okay. This guy's hardcore. All right. Yeah. He doesn't yeah, give you his yarn easily. You a chance to trade. You waited. You lose out. All right, we got a threesome of, of dimension plan? doors over here. You gotta find me some. You probably have to dimension door um, uh, coops. Because I use a war forge. Gotta find me some flying boots. I feel kind of out of the club of the flyers. I'm carrying them. He's <laughs> tiny. <laughs> There's the dimension door. All right. You guys all hop in. Flyers. Let's move out. Right. Um, you land on the, the roof of, of, of the Adelphia village, and you're greeted by Rishaha. Rishaha says, two times in one year, Retsum? You are full of surprises. Couldn't live without me, huh? <laughs> Just kidding. What brings you back here so soon? Well, we're looking for something. Something. Mysterious. Uh, care to fill me in on that? Uh, you, I know how you are. You've got a big mouth. Okay. Well, uh, if you're looking for anything inside the city, you're going to have to get in. And, uh, well, you know... I'm the only one who which, gets in. Which I know you can help me with. That's right. So, uh, what do I get in return? Hmm? Well, what do you want? I don't know. What do you got? Oh, shit's gonna go down. This is your chance. I'm gonna step in and be like, so there's something you should know about my buddy Retsum. He has a massive pecker. He has a giant pecker, and he is one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. I think you, uh, I think you would be very happy just getting to know him a little better. Yeah, we did just find out that you have a big mouth, so you know. <laughs> hmm, that sounds like a, an interesting proposition. Um, have any romantic music or uh, anything I can uh, listen to in the meantime? Oh, I could play some music for you guys to set the mood. That could definitely happen. I, I'm just standing there looking very uncomfortable, just staring daggers into Ted Red. <laughs> no, you're going to love this. Uncom you're uncomfortable. How do you think we feel? <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to watch this. Why? <laughs> That's a bit of a documentary. All right, so... Here is a song. Uh, one of the things. This is a. This is a song that I made about Adelphia. Uh, I filled Adelphia with a whole bunch of stuff, and you'll notice that it is always sunny in Adelphia. So this uh, this song goes out to Adelphia, and it's about our uh, exchange with the dragon last week. Dragon, surrounded by the magic. Do too many drugs You should know that your mom is a milf I give her kisses and hugs Dragon Ah, you drank too many flagons Ah, you led us to the mine Now your mama is awake Cave is shaking and you're doing a line Dragon Ah, let the party help me tagging Ah, they got me out the coin Ah, and now I'm free to touch the mama's dragon's puss and slide up into her loins. Dragon, ah, drags a moon dust wagon. Ah, champion of the drugs. Ah, me and Ritz, I'm gonna grab your mama's titties, be the masters of jugs. Dragon, stage freeze. Don't say stage freeze, just do it. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, they just get better and better, man. That was I have legitimate tears right now. <laughs> oh my god, was that was right for you. That was all for you, Retsum. <laughs> my jaw drops every time you come up with this stuff. Every time. I was that literally was banger. bursting out laughing the whole time. That was amazing. All up amazing. in the loin. It was really good. I really liked it. Cause... <laughs> Thank so you very much. Runs up to uh, 
to uh, rest him and gives him a big peck on the cheek and a hug. Just kind of, you know, just gives him a big huge smooch. And then, uh, and then kind of rubs up against him really well and is okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do anything in front of these people, but maybe later. But for now, okay, I think I can be convinced to let you in for now. That was pretty romantic. And then she, she kind of gives you a wink and then she uh, goes up to the door. And um, she does a couple of, you know, weird caws and a couple of strange knocks. Things that just, like, just don't make any sense to you at all. But um, after she gets done, she has a couple of strange hand gestures as well. And then when she's done, the door, the wide door, she swings, swings open and you're ushered inside. You walk down inside and you come into the city and you see that there's like this, uh, this little uh, area here that you, um, and as you walk down this cobbled street, you see that kind of the eyes of, of this people of the city are kind of just staring at you and, and they look, look, look at you kind of strangely. And uh, occasionally, a personal one of the, the 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 bird people would just squawk out at you, and Rishaha will respond back with a big, large squawk in return, as in, as if telling them to back off. Eventually, you reach a small, humble home. Rishaha knocks on the door and is entered by a gruff, deep squawk. The two begin to converse, and eventually, the door opens, and you go inside of this little humble home. Inside this home, you see an an Aracocra male standing there. Not far from you, but he doesn't look very happy to see you. But nonetheless, yeah, he, he ushers you inside and closes the door really quickly. If he like doesn't want even want to be seen with you, he says. Shaha says you are here for the sacred book of Zazu. It is not for sale. I don't think we want to buy it. I just think we want to check it out. Hmm. How do I know that so, you were not the ones who stole this book in the first place? So, the book's not for sale. Would you barter for it? Hmm. Why should I trust you? Or well, not from I'll keep... here. Why should I trust any of you, especially you, cat person? You were in possession of this for many years. Why bring things here? The other half of the book, you have had it for many, many years, I assume? Not me personally. Uh, at all. Well, Maybe we are. I should get the other half of the book instead of giving my half to you. Yeah, I don't think it goes that way. I don't know if you know who we are. We're, we're Risk a Riff Raff, and if we had stolen that book, you wouldn't have it right now. So, you know, you're not getting our book. We're, we're here to get a job done. We just need your help to get this book together so that we can get a job done to protect your village. Now, you either can either help us or be a block. It's up to you. Hmm. Okay. Perhaps I will negotiate. Perhaps. But I need something from you. What can you give me that is as important as this uh, book? Sacred book is very, very important to my people. That I've kept, I've kept it, I've kept it important. I've kept it in my, in my house in this very special place for for decades, for for ages. And, and now you wish it. So what what can I what can you give me that I can give this to you that I would be willing to part with it? Uh, I have I have some magic pot. Be gone, be gone. Why do you offer such things to me? This is useless. It's not that useless, actually. If you uh, if you roll it up, if you roll up the magic pot, and then you light it up, you'll notice there are significant uses that can really benefit you. Some would even yeah, say it's, it's a med medicine. It's, it's medicinal, and I'm a professional doctor, so my word is golden. Yeah. Serenita has no use for such things. I am a priest. I can make healing of my own. I have no need for such. Be something that was stolen from me, stolen from my people, and perhaps I will part with this book. Have you had anything stolen recently? Were there any porch pirates around? You know, with delivery, sometimes people just come by and take stuff. 
Uh... Yeah, bro. Dewey. What do you want? What do you want? Tell us what you want, and let's see if we can make it happen. Let's make a deal. There is one thing. Very, very important relic to my people. Something of great religious import and great value. Is a pendant. Very sacred to Serenita. A pendant was stolen from our people long ago. That is why we closed the doors to outsiders. To trust no one in here. The fact that you were let in here is even, you know, questionable. But if you can give me said pendant, then perhaps I will part with this book. It will show your trust show that you uh, are not here to steal from us like the others. What was it? I look at the group. What was it that we just got? Did we uh, just get something like that? We did just get a pendant. Literally a pendant. But I also, now that they want it, I kind of want it too. Does anyone else have mm -hmm. that feeling? Yeah. Like I, did, I didn't really care about it until he just said, I want you, it. I, okay, 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 okay. Ready, ready? I, I got this, I got this. So, so you're looking for this pendant. All right. Let us go and see if we can get it back. And I want us all to step out of the building real quick. I was going to just look at the all phone right. and give him a bit of a, a wink and be like... <laughs> is, it, is it time? Like, I'm, I'm, my patience is running out a little bit, you know? Like... Tom we just I've been caressing my axe for the last, you know, minute and a half here. <laughs> Keep in mind, we are in a village that already doesn't want us here. Just well, let's, more fun. Let's, yeah, it can't get, get worse. Should I steal it? Maybe we could validate their feelings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does anybody want to take a look at at this pendant real quick before we just yeah. willingly hand this thing over. Okay. Yeah, that's a good call. Good call. Uh, clearly want it for a reason, right? Yeah, let's... Uh, right? We, we should probably have our magic magic that are in, in high in uh, Arcana take a look at it, maybe. I'm... Keep in mind, they said it was a religious artifact. Oh. It was good at religion. I'm not... I, I, I skipped uh, school on religion. Plus four on religion. That explains why they want it. <laughs> I'm only plus one religion. Does anyone have higher than plus four? Are you telling me the rock star All right. is the most religious Ooh, person? I'm a, <laughs> am I the most religious? I, <laughs> yeah, I also have a plus four. Okay, gonna, okay. Can I, just steal, can I just go in there and steal the book? That may be an option. Well, if we find out that this is really like cool and we want to keep it, yes. All right. I'm going to start concentrating on guidance and whoever's going to inspect this thing. Uh, I'm going to give them like some aid and I'll give them a plus four to their role when they try to figure out what this thing is. All right, Rag All right. Ragnar, I think you should be the one to inspect it because it just makes me depressed if I'm the most religious person in this group. <laughs> uh, well, you're not the most religious. You're equally as pathetically religious. as Yeah, I so hopefully you're, you can you can win at this one. Well, I'll try it. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not your typical cleric. I, thought, I think you guys figured uh, that out by now. I, I rolled a 12 without any modifications to it. So it'd be 16? Or is it a plus D4? D4. Oh, okay. D4. So yeah, roll one more D4. So it's a 14. Pendant is what is known as a pendant of Serenita. It is very, very sacred to the people of the Aarakocra village and of Aarakocra in general who worship Serenita, the goddess. And um, it is only useful to an Aarakocra. Okay. Well, uh, Redsum, do you have any interest in this? Because otherwise we might not need it. Well, we might need it. Well, we no matter what, we need the book, right? The other half. We definitely need the book, but the pendant. We definitely need the book. 
Uh, we might need a leader. Are we going to run into these kind of people? Aarakocra? No, we mean no. these Only kind of people. Aarakocra can use it. Um, Kira, <laughs> um, do we know why it's useful for um, Aarakocra to use it? Because it can only be used by that particular race of people. I've I've heard legends of, of this pendant. And I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. Well, maybe we keep it for Ritsum then. Ritsum, you want this pendant? I mean, I really like the pendant. So if we can figure out a way to keep the pendant, great. I think then uh -huh. stealing is probably the best way to go. We can all create distractions while Kala goes and makes a move to try and steal it. And then if things go wrong and all hell breaks loose, I think we'll all have some fun, so. Now, how how many people are around us? Can we just, like, can we clear the room? Like, or is this, like, can we take these guys? This is an entire village. You would say there's probably at least, you know, I don't know, three, four hundred Aarakocra in this Three, four hundred, okay. Hey, three, four hundred versus them. six or seven. But they're, you know, um, some are probably, you like, know, you know, fishermen. And yeah. like, <laughs> women and children. Women and children. <laughs> oh, I like our chances. Odds are like our chances here. And I'm Just pretty sure mind that some of them are probably the fighters and casters. I like our odds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, well, you're also not taking level into consideration. I like our odds. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's like seven or six. I mean, I think... we, we had what six versus Quans at one time, and we didn't stand a <laughs> chance. Well, Ritsum could go in there, start making up with the other bird chicken there. He'll get just uncomfortable. He'll leave. Ooh. I don't like that plan. I don't like this plan. Oh, it's, I, it's, I it's, love it's, that, it's, that like, plan. I love that plan. I want to watch that. Yeah, I think all right. I think we're all in agreement that this is the best plan. Yep. Uh, speak yep. up now, Robert Hurley. Peace. All right. All right. We're going for it. Uh, take one for the team. Come on, buddy. Jump on the there grenade. Puck up those beaks. <laughs> it's not funny when it happens to you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Just one finger. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Just two knuckles. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All go right, in there. We, all right, let's go. <laughs> no, bend over the chair. Bend over the chair right there. You know, like there's a chair. Oh He's... man. <laughs> bow chicka wow wow. Bow na na da na na da da. Bow now bow ba down. Wow. While he's doing that, I'm casting a uh, thaumaturgy, and I'm I'm sending uh, vibrations to the floor. Oh yeah, I get the vibes going. They're just, they're just slight vibrations. There's enough <laughs> for people to notice, but it's not like an earthquake. All right, Kalen, now's your chance. All right. 21. Oh yes. Do 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 do. Do we do we even know where the book is? <laughs> Don't. Yeah, you, that might have been an important part to figure out before I'm you went. <laughs> I stealthily got in there and I'm looking around and I'm trying to find. Can I perform uh, a perception? <laughs> investigation check. See if you can find it. Thank you. I'll try to. Fifteen. Um, you do see that there is a chest there. You believe that it might be. Perhaps in that chest, but you don't know. You're just taking a guess. All right, can I open it? Try. What should I roll? Stealth again? Um, <laughs> now you'll have to do a, like a lock pick. Some oh. form, or okay, hold on. Okay, I think I have. It. Hold on, I think I have it, guys. I'm rushing. Rush it. Meanwhile, I'm just over there feather blasting, and I kind of like look over my shoulder. And I'm just like, give her a look, like, hurry up. Oh, I'm gonna look at you. If it's gonna make you go faster, I'm gonna look at you. Feather blasting is my mind. If I could be inside the mind of that head guy right now, this thing, what is he thinking? I think feather blasting is definitely my new favorite term. I'm using that, by the way. Um, I thought I had, um, I 
Oh, I did not. We did not think this through, guys. Equipment. I thought I, <laughs> I thought I had a um, a lockpick kit or something. I could have sworn. Can I like oh, just yeah. to lay the shit out of it? <laughs> just start yeah, hacking away. The, uh, uh, disrupt the uh, the mood there. Okay, hold on. Let me let me let me look at. Let me do another look, guys. Hold Find on. your sexiest uh, move. Um, can I try to stealth him? Just give me a second, sir. Hold you can on, do a dex on. check without thieves' tools. You can just try it and see. Okay, let's 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 try. Oh well, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, yeah, that didn't didn't work so hot. Alright. Yeah, my stuff failed. Yeah. Um. I was lucky that he's he's pretty got preoccupied right now. Can I? Yeah. Oh yeah. Do I get stealth? Um, uh, do I get advantage on that stuff if he's preoccupied? I'd say you would. Yeah. Go ahead. You can reroll. I'll let you reroll. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're, you're not you're not, you're making a lot of noise over there you know you're, <laughs> you're stumbling around knocking into stuff <laughs> okay well i won't try to go past i'll just can i uh flame blade the lock um it would be very very loud and very very noticeable oh and you might burn stealth. down the house and that definitely would not that would, if you're trying to be stealthy i would not recommend it can, but it would not recommend it if you wanted to be try to be stealthy. I mean, I there's I'm a lot of friction here. going on over on my end, so maybe it could make a spark or two. And that's <laughs> well, I'm sure some sparks are flying there. <laughs> that's how it burned <laughs> down. All right, guys, I'm kind of stuck here. I don't know what you want me to do. The lock on here. So a dimension door over there is and be undetected can you can you take doesn't uh doesn't you capone have a bag of holding i'll oh, just put the whole thing i here. have a bag of holding all right can we just take the whole chest yeah dimension oh, door someone over there with a bag of holding put the chest Wait, in the bag of holding can i just carry the whole chest out with me and stealthily take it out with me you might notice uh, a chest floating through the air by itself. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever seen safe robbers, but they tend to get taught. They tend to get caught. <laughs> but uh, my stealth is like, let's just say it's like 21. Okay, you got your whip, right? I got my whip. Okay, you could whip the chest, tie it up. Now that I'm thinking about how safe robbers and ATM robbers work, then you give the other side of the whip to Capone and Capone can just start barreling out of the door, and even though we'll lose stealth on the way out, we can just make a run for it at the end. I think I think that's the play. I can dimension door and try my thieves tools on the chest. Okay, we can maybe try that. It might be better. Let's do that. <laughs> let's try. Let's try the dimension door. Uh, we need to really work on our bank robbing skills. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get some like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can I give it a second go, Kira? Would like try. <laughs> uh, that that was you. Think you pretty much, uh, yeah. You bought bungled that for sure. That's not did not do any good there. No. Uh, oh man, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to like flame blade this. I think that I swear. maybe that at this point Redsom's finishing up. Retson, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> don't finish yet, don't finish yet. Uh, don't finish. Uh, I think I'm going to need, like, a stamina spell. Uh, just <laughs> just <laughs> think, pa baseball, baseball, baseball. <laughs> yeah, I did a normal kick dex instead of my fees tool. And I got okay. 20. Right. So, at this point, you are able to successfully open the, the uh, chest. Unfortunately, notice that the, ch the chest is trapped. And it uh, cuts off a, a pretty big uh, explosion, and you've taken 50 points of uh, damage. Oh, both of us? Oh. Who did? Both of that? us, or, or just the one both that went over there and opened it? Range there. Yes, both of you. You're both standing by the oh, chest. Oh, dang. And 
of course, that immediately triggers the uh, notification of uh, the stop stopping of the uh, act. And uh, he's like, what the hell just happened? Now the uh, pleasure is all gone. And um, it is like, what's going on here? He I reach in and grab the, the box. Exploded chest. And what is, is likely, you know. Is the, was the book in there? Or was the book being destroyed? You open up the chest, what's left of the chest, you see the exploded chest, the piece that's left in there, you notice there is no book in that chest. Oh, crap. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, 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 this. <laughs> Damn it. This is what we get oh, well, for trying well, to what do have we here? Way. Thieves, I see. No. I'm gonna... I'm stealthily running away. <laughs> <laughs> 28. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, uh, faceless. <laughs> can I try stealth away before he comes over? I got an 18. Try. 18. Right. Yeah. Okay, get on out of there. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, chicken. I couldn't trust you after all. Should have known better. Well, he didn't Outside see us over there. He, he didn't see us over there. We'll, we'll act innocent. Like, nothing yeah, happened. I, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Are you yeah. high? Stop watching yeah. people have sex. Yeah. Just don't explode I, on their own. I think maybe what happened was I was going so hard that I shook the chest open on the other side of the room. Uh, yeah, didn't you feel that vibration? Sorry. Yeah, I just, listen, I... I I'm passionate. Intense. Uh, roll a charisma check. <laughs> yeah, uh, throw in there. Yeah, there's a lot of vibration uh, through the floor if you didn't feel it. Charisma. I'm a minus one, just uh, so you guys know here. Twelve. Okay, I can possibly buy that. It was it was a little bit. You know, it was, it was pretty intense. There was some shaking going on. Okay. Possibly. All right. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Sorry about that. From over here. Okay. I'll, I'll, right. I'll try and tone it down. Uh, a bunch of burn marks on Cal and Faceless. They're like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Just light smoke coming out of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> like, are you going to heal me? I mean, maybe I can heal myself. I will. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that, that's over. And that was very, very pleasant, by the way. Um, maybe I can be convinced to give you this book after all. Um, Christmas check. You mean we just had to ask? Oh, who? Me? We got a, uh, was it Feather Blaster? Charisma? Oh. I gotta, I gotta do another Charisma? <laughs> the book. Uh -oh. Feather Blaster. I'm not gonna give anything in return, other than your, uh... Uh, your dignity. <laughs> what did I get? Oh, 16. Oh, nice. Okay. He is convinced, and he uh, he reaches over and he like goes over to a special place, and he like says, "Don't look, don't look. I don't want you seeing this." He goes over there and he grabs this book, and he and he hands it over to you. So they're half the book, and he hands it to you. I looked. Yeah, and he says, "Call me," and he says, "You're on your way." Listen, you're gonna have to call him at some point. Kayla, I healed you 31 hit points, and Faceless, I healed you 28. And, uh, and then you put it together with the other half of the book you had, and I will uh, provide what you have uh, now. Good job. You have now obtained what you uh, came to obtain. You also notice that you, uh, with this book, you also have a map. To the new location, next location you're going to be going to. I hated this cigarette right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Rashad, I was very I have pleased. A, a silly question. Now that we have both halves of the book, can I cast mending on the book? Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, well, then I'll do that. All right. And here is, uh, we'll go ahead and put this in here for groups to put in what you have. 
Before we uh, go off and possibly run into danger, can we take a short rest? So, I don't know if you heard me. I healed you 28 faceless and I healed Kayla 31. Thank you very much for the heal. Yeah, if you can't get it where he can read it a little bit better, I will read it to you. You get this uh, book and it says, it says a recruit, it says a list of potential recruits. You see a couple of names that are circled and several names that are crossed out and a couple that have question marks. Names that are circled are Raylene of the Eldian Reaches, Grip the Angry, and Bart of Thronehold. Ones that are crossed out are Copia the Free, Drumbletooth the Fierce, Yarn of Fancy Feast. And the ones that are question mark are Bell of Thronehold, Faceless of Ondare. Faceless, do you know Bjorn? Holy shit. Maybe. Maybe. <coughs> I can't there is a map to a, uh, a temple. Are you guys like Facebook friends or like do you actually know each other? <laughs> Now maybe my reputation precedes me. So Dracopia was the one that we threw drugs at not the last time. Did they cross her out because she's tainted now from drugs or or I don't know. Throwing that out there. <laughs> that's the I think that's the dragon that we ran into, the mother of the I think that was the baby dragon. Was it the mother or the baby? The baby oh, got the baby. us there. Dracopia was oh. the one that was there, Dracopia and we ran from Dracopia is the baby. Dracopia is the baby, oh. yeah. Oh, my bad. My bad. I got that wrong. Okay. Possibly presume that Rumble Teeth the Fierce is the mother. Ah. Oh. Okay. Ooh. And Bjorn is deceased. So maybe we so just got to find all these people and throw drugs at them. That seems uh, like so our play. And if you have enough drugs to, throw it on. to recruit, so I'm on that list. <laughs> Alright, throw the drugs at faces quick. <laughs> <laughs> Lock me up. I have a feeling it has nothing to do with drugs, but uh, can't hurt to try. You follow the map and you uh, finally reach this little area that is uh, a a temple out in the middle of nowhere and you do see that outside this temple you, know, you see a couple of symbols which are not there but I'll show you the symbols here you kind of see them just in various places but um, out in the distance before you even reach the temple and actually as you as you kind of approach the temple you kind of hit a little area before you even get to this area where you hit uh, like a kind of a fenced in area where they um, there was like some people like guarding a, a kind of a, this little area here and you notice that as you went to this little guard, guarded area, that they kind of, that the people who were guarding the area kind of looked at you funny. They kind of glanced over at Faceless. They were originally going to stop you, the guards were, and then they saw Faceless and they kind of let you let you go by, let you get past this point. Faceless, I think we're going to need a little bit more backstory on how you know all these people. And so now that you have reached this uh, this small area here, um, you've reached the, the temple, you kind of hit this area where you've got a... Uh, couple of symbols that are familiar as you look outside to faceless he recognized these symbols these recognizes these symbols as symbols that uh, are for the um blood of vol and the order of the emerald claw so i wouldn't know how to open this door with these symbols I'm guessing what yeah, that's what symbols. Oh, that's, I'm just, that's just telling you what this place is, so you kind of get oh, an okay. idea yeah, of what this a, place is. There's a blood I mean, of old temple. Yeah. Cool. I guess I'm guessing can... that they're just gonna, um, yeah, I'm just gonna walk past and say, "What's up, fellas?" And just, um, these guys are with me. They're all good, you know. And uh, I'm guessing we just go into the temple. It lets you in, and you just walk. You can walk in straight in. As you enter, you'll see that there. You walk inside, and you're hearing like a bunch of chanting going on as these people are gathered around this uh, 
this kind of giant hole area in the in the in the in, the, in there, and you kind of see this. They're all like these four kind of road figures just gathering around, just chanting and and making noises, and 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 they're all like just very focused on what's going on inside of this little hole area, in the temple, and um, they don't even notice you at this point because they're all just focused on what they're doing. Would I understand what's going on here? Um, you in indicate that perhaps in, you're thinking in your head perhaps that it is a, some sort of ritual. You kind of recognize it as a ritual, but not one that you particularly have been involved in yourself, but that you've heard of members of the Order of the Emerald Claw perform in order to create undead. I, I'm not going to lie. Is this the type of place you hang out often? Because... It's giving me some weird vibes. Yeah. Yeah, this this doesn't look kind positive of, here. Kind of <laughs> this is a typical uh, Blood of Bowl uh, temple, uh, just not one that I've been to. Like, are you okay? Do you need to talk to somebody sometimes? Like, I'm always here, buddy. No, no, I'm good. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, but, but if you ever need it, he's offering to, fe to feather blast you. Yeah, 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 just let me know. <laughs> Um, you don't know what type of ritual it is, right? You just know it's a ritual. Oh, um, to create undead. To create undead. Okay. Yeah. Some of the some of yeah. the more, uh, fall in that. Yeah, I've had enough of this already. Um, <laughs> can I take an action? Ed. Or should I? Actually, just talk to him since I'm on the list. No, I mean, yeah, you are on the list, right? I'm you probably can get in the VIP room. Yeah, I could actually. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. I've, I've got an itchy trigger finger right now, so do what you gotta <laughs> yeah. do, and I'm about ready to pop something off. You walk in and you interrupt this ritual that's going on, and they look none too pleased, but then they notice that you, and they like, you know, kind of usher you over and, and invite you to join in. Uh -huh. I possibly could be interested in uh, joining what's going on here, but I need to wait, understand wait, wait, wait. what is going on. We're performing the rites to transform one of our most valued friends into one of the greatest undead, as is the greatest honor for our, for our congregation. Who are you transforming? Someone who has volunteered to do to be a part of this ritual, someone very mighty and powerful of their own accord, but someone who has agreed to join the ranks of the undead and become even more powerful. Hang on, hang on. I should be the most powerful being in this room. Thank you very much. <laughs> I just look over to the rest of the group. He's on our side, right? I mean, uh, if he steps out of line, we could always kill him. <laughs> Thunder clap. <laughs> you wish to join us, friend. You are like... of the blood of Vol. You are welcome to join our society. Become one with the undead eventually. You will become more powerful than ever. I look back at these guys. This sounds very tempting, guys. You know, the ultimate power. I'm like shaking. I'm like shaking uncontrollably right now and grunting and grinding my teeth right now. Remember uh, the power of friendship. One sec. Let's continue with this ritual, though. If we break it, then our friend will be highly unhappy because the ritual will not be completed. And their transformation will not be complete. So join or leave. Okay. Uh, it might be time. Um, may I may I perform an action, Kira, or do you want to roll initiative? Depends. Uh, what is your What is your action? Oh, I'm casting a spell. All right. Well, if, uh, let's roll initiative then. Oh right. boy. Not okay. Um, 
can I, before we uh, roll initiative and get into it, can I walk back to the group and, um, yeah, not be, like, right up there? <laughs> cool. Don't worry, guys, I got this. I thought you were the My almighty powerful. No, I wanted yeah, to be, right? but they are doing it to someone else. I got this with my impressive four. So as we're gonna start, I wanna I wanna turn around and say to them, um, you deny me ultimate power, you will pay. And the initiative roll, let's go. And what are the enemy initiatives? It looks like there's four enemies in this room. I messaged you, but they are, um, oh, sorry, 18, 11, and 20. Okay. Those all sounded higher than mine. <laughs> A lot higher than mine. <laughs> this is yours is higher than mine. Oh boy. Uh, okay then. Um, I'm gonna, I guess. Uh, I mean, we're just full on fighting these people right now, aren't we? <laughs> we're we're gonna we're gonna smash some skulls, right? Seems to be the game plan. Yep. yep. Uh, okay then. Uh, I'm gonna just uh head on over. I don't like the looks of that one on the left with the green thing. I'm gonna head over to the right and uh just take a shot with Peacemaker. That is a 24 to hit. Nice roll. All right, you smack it. Uh, what is a little six damage there? And then I will give a smack with Roosevelt. 21 to hit. Get some damage on that. Uh, and then I will use a key point for a flurry of blows and uh, give this guy two more shots here. Uh, 23. Give one more here. Uh oh. That's 12. Misses. Okay, uh, and then uh, that'll uh, end my turn. All right, so uh, enemy one uh, is in the bottom right, enemy two is up in the top right, enemy three is in the top left, enemy four is in the bottom left, and it's enemy one's turn. Enemy one is uh, that one, right? This one right here next to, next to Retzum. Okay. Um, enemy number one decided see them like you know all, all of a sudden just you know giving their hands around all of a sudden and then see this big huge column of fire go up over there the edge where everybody else is over here this column of fire about 40 foot high cylinder about 10 foot radius and everyone in that range who is not immune to fire it's to uh, roll a dex saving throw. I believe that's Retsum, Capone, and Faceless. I am resistant to fire, which I think gives me, what, advantage? Where do you see your resistance? Uh, um, resistance is half damage, Rory. Half damage, okay. So what say uh, what throw am I making? A dex? Okay. Also, radius. Oh. I'm good. I'm good. Where do you see and you? because it's dex, I don't take nothing. <laughs> Resistances are top right under defenses. All right. Pone, um, if you are not immune or resistant, you take 20 points of fire damage and 20 points of radiant damage. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. If you are resistant or... 
obviously would take half. So, who took that capone and who? Um, Redsman didn't take any, so. And uh, Faceless also did not take any. If you take actually Faceless, if you're not you, both, you you probably take half if you are are not immune. Okay, so that means it is my turn up next, and I am going to cast a level level three hidey hole. And what my hidey hole does is it's a 10 foot radius, a mobile dome of force that springs into existence around us. Uh, nine creatures of medium size or smaller, so that's all of us, can fit inside the dome with us. Uh, creatures and objects within the dome can move through it freely. All other creatures and objects are barred from passing through it. Spells and other magical effects can't extend through the dome or be cast through it. So we're protected from spells, but also we cannot. anyone who's inside it cannot cast spells. Uh, unless you leave the hidey hole, which you can leave freely if you would like. So that is our hidey hole. And that is the end of my turn. So next up is... Capone. Alrighty, so... Okay, so is there any chance... Where's Ori attack number one, the guy right there? I'm going to go help attack that one right there. So we are going to rage, boom, I am going to swing my beautiful axe. Nineteen. You hit. Alrighty. With nineteen damage, and I'm gonna do it once more. So it's nineteen damage. I'm gonna do it again. That's definitely not a hit. Eleven is that a hit? No, right? No, you uh, you you sli slice past him. Okay, now, uh, am I able to move back, or I already moved? I'm stuck. If you move back, then you get an opportunity. He'll get an opportunity to attack. Okay, I'll just chill here. I'll chill here. And that's the end of my uh, turn. Next up is enemy two, which is this one over here. Right, enemy two moves over toward um, Retsum Ooh. and starts to uh, grabs out his little uh, staff and bangs on Retsum a little bit hey. and it does a small amount of damage, does eight points of damage, staff, and then kicks him in the shins for another five points of damage. Yikes, Retsum's been doing a lot of banging today. Jeez. It's just hit me in the shins. Who who hit somebody in the shins? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> like seriously? <laughs> I think you shattered it. Turns over. All right. Uh, next up is RWA. All right, I'm gonna move. Uh, it looks like if I'm facing forward to my left, uh, move me up about the corner left right there so i can see everybody okay i'm gonna cast level five dawn and it's a 40 foot high 30 foot radius and i want to try to triangulate it to hit as many of these uh people that were fighting without hitting capone and uh or uh, i'm sorry capone and retsum <clears throat> It's a 30 foot radius, so I can't tell exactly how that would go. If you're but, a quick question, are you outside what? of the hidey hole? I'm not in the hidey hole. Right now you are. Do you want me to take you out of it? Yeah. I thought you had to enter it. No, no. I cast it around everyone who is in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be in there then. Okay. I grab my symbol. I say the words, the Kol Quran. You constructed me at the beginning. To eliminate the undead and these are maybe not undead but they proliferate the undead experience help me nuke these motherfuckers so whatever I can get in that 30 foot radius I, I, I can't tell what exactly it is but I don't want to hit Capone and Retsum so it's a 30 foot radius 
yeah, I think if you're going to avoid hitting Capone and uh, Redstone, you probably have to avoid hitting those two as well, because they're right up next to each other. So probably can hit these two right here. Okay, we'll go with it. It's a concentration spell. And uh, let me roll the damage for that. All right, that is 27 radiant damage. It's like a sunbeam coming down, and it persists every round as long as I can hold this. Yeah, they both they both failed, by the way. So they they both get. Oh, hit. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a 16 uh, constant constitution check. Sorry, got to tell you that. All right, and that's my turn. All oh, right, that's pretty badass. That is pretty cool. All right, next up is Kala. I guess I will do thunderclap. Um, I will step over just, just, just slightly out of the dome. And I look over to the other two that are uh, attacking uh, Bruno and uh, Fretsum. And I uh, hit them with my thorn whip. I probably didn't hit them with my thorn whip. No, you, uh, you missed them. All right, so I'm going to slither around back into that hidey hole. And then uh, Cal is done. Nice. There's okay. tons of room in here because my hidey hole is big. All right, next up will be enemy number three. Okay. Yeah, is going to head around also the side here and head over to, uh, yeah, right there. He is going to... Uh, Start swinging with his quarter staff and also with his his feet. It's for a small amount of damage as well. He does eight damage with his uh, staff, and then if you know comes around with his arm and kind of you know hits in the in the in the, in the kidneys for another eight damage. Oh, they're really going for us. They fight dirty. Who kidney punches? <laughs> Honestly. All right. Standard. All right. So next up is enemy four. Enemy four. Also comes around to the side behind his uh his buddy there. And by the way, did you? I'm not sure. You probably lost concentration after you got hit. No, I have war casting, so I can uh I right. can roll against that. All right. Uh, hold on one second. I forgot how that works. So what do I roll? Just a Constitution save. Yeah. Uh, 23 was my roll. I think I passed it. Good. Okay. All right. So um, the enemy stands back there. And again, he starts, you know, kind of uh, moving his hands around and, and and saying a few words. You see him kind of hold up this little piece of iron. Then all of a sudden, um, he starts casting a few spells. And then he says, okay, so he targets a couple of people. Um, and I need, uh, BT to make a wisdom saving throw. Does a 30 work? That's great. Okay. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he... Nice roll. Okay. Next up is faceless. I want to just step outside the bubble and I'm going to tell these fools this is the true power of Blood of Null. And I am gonna summon Balgira. And it's uh step back in the bubble and then Yeah. That's the end of my turn. Actually, why don't you roll a uh D twenty for me? A D twenty? <laughs> Six. Um, turns out that uh this particular Balgura uh is not the same one that you uh, always summon. A different one has appeared. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's not good. I would that hope you would mean, know. Uh, yeah, you gotta look it at how you do not have works. this one's true name. Oh, okay, so you, no, there's, there's nothing too, too worried about. So, uh, he has to do. D20, and he fails. So, that's fine. Uh, 
It's the end of the viewer's turn. Okay, um... Let's move me outside of the bubble straight forward, kind of on the edge of that little, uh, I don't know, font or whatever you want to call it. The little pool. And I am going to cast the Pornographic Tendencies, which has a 20-foot radius. I want it to just flip the two enemies in front of WT, or RWA, my bad. It is an Intelligence 17 save. Why is there a butt on the screen? Uh, he, he said pornographic tendencies. This is the first thing I saw that made me think of it. Uh, you said they did not pass? They failed to save. Uh, so they have muddled thoughts for one minute. Uh, uh, during that time, it rolls a d6 and subtracts a number from all of its attack and ability checks, as well as constitution saving throws for concentration. Wow. It nice. also gets to make an intelligence save at the end of all of its turns to try to recover. But 33 points of psychic damage. And that ends on my turn. All right. Uh, let's see here. I've still got two guys here. They're both up, right? Have both of them been damaged or just the one I shot initially? I think both you and Capone damaged this one. This one is still undamaged. He's undamaged. All right. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an action here to reload Peacemaker and then shoot Peacemaker right into this guy's uh, head, hopefully. Oh, yeah, that's a crit. Let's go. Yeah, baby. That's a lot of dice. 27 damage. Jesus. I will then uh, use a key point. To give uh, two more smacks with a flurry of blows here. That's a 27. And then one more here. Oh, and that's another crit. Nice. Doing 16. And that ends my turn. All right. And now it is back up to uh, enemy one. Who's this person right here? I don't like that he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> not not happy about that. <laughs> yeah, but a solid 52 points of damage. I was feeling real good about myself. I was just waiting for he's dead, and then I never got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, enemy one uh, decides it's going to, uh, to hit with its staff as well. And it hits, and it does eight points of damage. I assume to me. Yeah. To you. Okay. And it's its turn. All right. So it is back to Tedred. So I am going to take a quick step out of the hidey hole, still out of range of uh, all of the other enemies around here. And I'm going to cast my new hand spell, my level five hand, which I call Tedred's hand. And with Tedrid's hand, it's a lot more powerful than my old mage hand because it can actually do a lot more damage and has the ability to move uh, quite a bit further and do some different attacks. And with Tedrid's hand, I am going to use Forceful Hand. So I can see that this, uh, this um, enemy right here is very close to a pool of blood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and push that enemy into the pool of blood using Tedrid's hand. <gasps> uh -oh. roll, uh, roll a dex check. Dex check. All right. That is 15. All right. You see the hand just go over there and it pushes and it pushes and pushes and, and actually it works. <gasps> That's awesome. I'm 
getting like vibes of like the Hulk and gamma radiation right now. <laughs> <laughs> this could have been a bad play. We'll find out soon. Soon, and then I'm gonna bring Tedrid's hand uh, right where the uh, right where the enemy used to be standing, right in the middle, right there. And then I'm gonna step back into the hidey hole and end my turn. See the enemy just fall into the uh, the hole, and it just he just disappears into the blood. Shit. I'm getting carry vibes. Yeah, we'll see if that was a bad idea or a good idea. We'll find out we soon. We don't know. Roll the dice, baby. Roll yeah. the dice. <laughs> All right, Capone's up next. Okay, so um, is there any chance I can just walk up to this guy, literally pick him up, and, like, body slam him into the pool of uh, blood? Please. <laughs> Double down. Double down. You Make sure to take your boxers <laughs> off first. What do I need to roll? Full strength check. All right. Suck. I just picture him German suplexing this guy straight in. <laughs> roll at 19. Ah, okay. You are able to do this. Yeah, so I'm actually, I, I want to pick him up and kind of give him like the ultimate warrior like bench press and just kind of like pump him a few times. And I look over at the team and I'm giving them kind of like that nod, you know, and I'm like, pumping this guy. And, you know, I'm like pumping the crowd. And then I just absolutely <laughs> launch him. Uh, into the pool of blood. And then I look over at his friends and I'm like, you're next. And, uh, so since I have, will I be able to walk over to the next one and do another action? You are within 30 feet if you have 30 feet of walking feet speed. I'm on my way. I'm walking over to the next guy. I look him dead square in the eyes and I'm pointing at him and I said, you're up, buddy. And I'm going to roll myself another strength check. Let's go. Mm, this guy up and like you know, you're trying to pick him up and you feel like this guy's just a little bit heavier than the other guy. I don't know. Maybe he's like you know eating too many, you know, you know burritos or something. He's got like too much stuff, and too much food in him, and and all of a sudden you just can't pick this guy up. You can't lift him up for some reason. I tweak my back a little. You know, I tweak my back a yeah. little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what happened to me? Yeah, it's a little, little you didn't tweak. stretch. Yeah, I told yeah, you my, stretch. My knees are not as strong as they used to be. You know, so. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll wait here for the next one, though. He's, he's not going to live too long. And that's the end of my turn. All right. And uh, next up is enemy two, who is already dead. And uh, next up after that is RWA. You're assuming that they're dead. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah. Enemy two is in blood. Yeah. The DM seemed very happy about that last time. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little worried right now, but... Okay, so I'm going to hyper-focus. I'm concentrating. I still got my dawn going. It lasts for up to a minute. I'm going to put it right in this corner, pinpoint it so it doesn't hit Capone or myself. And, uh, yeah, I'm like, Col Karan, let's do it again. And I'm rolling my 40-10 sunlight nuke damage on these guys. That's 22 radiant damage to those two in the corner. That's a concentration that I can keep up each round. And I'm going to channel some divinity. I'm going to heal myself 16 points of health. And then I'm going to give Capone, who's right next to me, uh, let's see, 16, so I can give him uh, 34 hit points. So 34 hit points to Capone, 16 myself, and I nuked them for 22 radiant damage, and that is my turn. You said 34? Yep, heals you for 34. Perfect. Thank you, sir. All right. And then uh, Kala is up next. So, can you turn the map around for me just for a second? Thank you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and step out again, just slightly out of the field. And I'm going to go ahead and throw my thorn whip on that enemy over there. Make sure not to hit um, anybody in the process. Let's do this. Don't think it does. Oh, maybe. You still barely, barely, barely missed. Barely missed. Okay. Damn. All right. I'm going to slide back on into the hidey hole. Thank you. And that uh, call is done. All right. Enemy three. This one right here is up next. Hey, enemy three sees uh this is not going so hot, but also sees that there is no escape, and uh, therefore just goes decides to go ahead and start uh 
start just wailing on a uh, phone while while they're there, and um, therefore they grab their uh, their, their their staff and they just wail on Capone and do eight points of damage, and then also just kind of you know do a little you know I don't know kind of like an uppercut and do another eight points of damage. Just trying to right. fight with whatever they got. All right, perfect. Alright, and next up is enemy four, this one over here. Okay. And that enemy also sees that the tides are turning. So they um, kind of stand over there and they're looking at uh, what's going on in the world over here. They, they start muttering a few things. They start, you know, just kind of mumbling to themselves and muttering a few things. And all of a sudden, you, see, you start hearing rumbling coming from inside of the uh, blood pit. That's good, right? Oh, no, I don't think that's good. <laughs> and, I don't uh, know if that's and, good. And they turn. And they turn. Oh. Saddle up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Faceless, you're up next. Uh, so I am going to go over. And I want to start wailing on this guy. I'm going to command um, Balgera to tell me his true name on his turn. And then we're just going to hit this guy. 25 to hit. 12 damage. 20 to hit. And 10 damage. And that's the end of my turn. Can you find out his name? Yeah. His name is... Um... Kambura. And um, by the way, uh, that knocked that guy out. He's he's gone. He's down. Uh, so when I kill him, I look him deep in his eyes and tell him that he chose the wrong path and just, just drive my knife slowly into his heart as I kill him. And as he dies, he, he curses you. Like a magic curse or like a curse word? You don't know. Uh oh. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Okay, so I have a line of sight over there. Because I've got the high ground. I will. You know what? I'll... I'm going to use chromatic orb. in the element of lightning on that remaining guy uh it has a oh i can just put it right on him it's a four inch diameter spear we'll roll to hit oh that's not going to be good that's an 11. that definitely did not hit well, then uh, I'm going to step just inside the little hidey hole there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to end my turn. All right, yeah, come inside the hidey hole. All right, next up is uh, Retsum. Uh, how are the, how's the, the rumblings of the, the blood going? They're getting stronger and louder. Oh, God. Turn um, off the sewer. <laughs> Turn it off. Like when you're, you know, really, really hungry and, like, you know, your, your stomach's just like, oh, my gosh, you got to have something to eat. And it just keeps getting louder and louder. You can't seem to, like, quiet it down. That's kind of, you know, imagine that, but, like, ten times. Okay. I would like to um, fly up directly over the pit but like high up like as high as i can be above um that's where i want to be and then um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna break out something uh i actually haven't done before and i'm gonna grab uh a fire uh opal off of my helm which will allow me to throw a fireball at that guy in the corner. Uh. 
Do we want to burn this place down? Oh boy. Uh, well, it seems like it's I'm not stone. against I don't to it. Down, right? I'm just saying I couldn't use my, my flame blade. Just the same. Oh, yeah, totally bring out the flame blade. I yeah. think you're going to have to bring out the flame blade here soon, because I think something's coming out of this pit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, anybody within a 20-foot uh, radius of that? Oh, oh yeah. shit. Here I think go. I just hit all you guys. Oh, no. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Listen, it was my first bird. time using it. I didn't know what I was stupid, doing exactly. Stupid bird. <laughs> yeah, and, and the, the, the saving throw on that thing. Jesus. Insane. I just want to say that it wasn't me this time. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. This was not the plan for giving you that helmet. Do we all have to do it? Or oh, just those, yeah. those three? Uh, it's within I think it's just those three, uh, hopefully. Even the hidey hole? No, we'd be protected no. in the hidey hole. No. There's people in the hidey hole. Just... There was uh, one guy there and three of his allies. He's like, hey, let's throw a bomb over there. It's like my thunderclap, but worse. Uh, so what's the save on it? I, I did not realize it was a 20-foot radius thing. I thought it was like a missile. Um, It's a dex save for sure. Dex 18. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Oh. I at least take half damage. I, mean, I hate birds right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But it's the... Um, it's the same. 30 so points of damage bad. to anyone who is uh, not and did not save, and anyone who saved is 15. They're almost you as know, bad as cats. Sometimes you just gotta learn by mistakes. Just a scratch. Just a I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna remember that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mistake. You just dealt 90 <laughs> points of damage to what your was team. The, what was Lift the total damage? Down. 36 30, total. 30 if you did not save, and 15 if you did save. Oh, oh my gosh. Slide, uh, the enemy is, uh, is toast, literally. I, I, hey. I look back at Redsum and I do a golf and I'm like, oh, good job. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You need help healing? <laughs> Uh, that, that was huge damage, though. That was 120 as points. As the of area is like burning over there, you suddenly hear the rumble gets bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger. And up from this uh, pool of blood, you see something rise. What rises is a brown dragon. It does not oh. look happy. Yay. Uh, oh, boy. Oh boy. This is our first dragon. dragon fight, guys. Our first it dragon fight. It looks at you and it looks angry and it looks at you and it says, How dare you interrupt it? I was going to be all powerful. I was going to be undead forever. Be the king of all undead dragons and you ruined it. You ruined it. And all initiative. Shit. So it seems to say he's a little mad. He might be a little perturbed. It's not as mad as me right now. I can guarantee that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, my initiative is on point tonight. Six for the dragon. You guys are lucky. That Ooh. still goes before yes. me. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> my initiative at least went up for this encounter by one. So, uh, Retsum is going to go first, and then I'll put everyone else in. Uh, are we trying to get out of here as fast as possible? Let's talk about first dragon fight, guys. <laughs> are, are we, <laughs> are we just trying like to... like a skedaddle, just run out the door. <laughs> Bye! I don't know if that's an option. I don't know if that's an option. It, it seems rather displeased. I don't know if it's going to let us leave. Remember, you guys are safe in the bubble. That's true. Yeah, and anyone, the, anyone who is inside at the beginning. In yeah, anyone who was inside when I cast it uh, can come in the hidey hole. But uh, Redsome, you were not inside at that time. Just... Oh, oh, so I can't even go to the exit you're saying to me right now? <laughs> yeah, unless I you're break the spell. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, well. Uh, 
shit. Well, I guess, uh, if I can't get to the exit, and there's there's no other exit, is there? Can I can I do a like a perception check to see if there's like a window? There is another uh, room in the back you could possibly get to, but it's not necessarily an exit. It's just another room. Oh God, what's in that room? Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go in that room. Yep, that's where I'm gonna fly. All right, as you enter the room, you see that there is a robed figure in that room. Oh, God. Off the distance. You can always come back out. <laughs> I would like to uh, tiptoe back out the room. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know. What's worse, a hooded figure or a dragon? Yeah, I'm... This guy might be friendly. Hooded figure has not seen you yet, by the way. Okay, uh, then I would like to um, at least try it uh, stealth roll to see if I can hide. Can I do that? Oh, 23, let's go! Alright, you're able to uh, go hide amongst the uh, junk over there. I just imagine he took the hat and the overcoat off of the coat rack. And he's just standing there in front of it, wearing them. <laughs> this guy, he just absolutely left us to fight a dragon by ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you guys can go through the... I can't go through the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> you said we're going through the bubble. We're going to attack this dragon. <laughs> uh, and I think that... Uh... I'll, uh, I feel like I've done enough. I'm just going to end my turn. <laughs> I don't want to do anything else. I mean, just want to see what happens with this hooded figure. You dude. don't want to lob a fireball at us again? No, no. I think I've done that in, uh, to you guys enough. If the dragon gets real bad, we'll see. All right, so... I am going to use... Uh, okay, so how many people are in need of healing at the moment? Uh, they're all outside of the hidey hole, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that left corner got wild pretty good. All right, so... By the way, this map is a badass, by the way. Ah, I'm thank at, you. I'm at 22 HP. All right, so I'm going to just take a quick step out of the hidey hole. I'm going to look at the dragon and be like, oh, fuck my life. And then I'm going to use Mass Cure Wounds... Uh, level six, no, sorry, level five. So everyone in this corner, which includes Capone, RWA, and Faceless, you will heal for 17. And then I tuck my tails between my legs and scurry back inside the hidey hole and hide behind Kala and say, please protect me. And end my turn. I want to like, notice something here. Nice, table. thanks, you, brother. Sir. Okay, I see what happens. So, <coughs> all right. So next up is Kala. Oh. So uh, yeah, I'll protect you. I'm gonna do some heals though. Some people. Um. R R W A is full. R okay, cool. All right. I'll help. I'm not gonna heal you then. All right. So I have a healing word. That I can do, and where it is? Oh, the biggest one I have. Okay, so I'm gonna do a level five healing word, and I'll just cast that out 60 foot radius. So I think I put, pretty much hit everybody. Yeah, you'd even okay. hit uh, Retsum in that range. Yeah, just no one inside yeah. the hidey hole. But I think we're all uh, we're all safe so far. So I hit everybody, and uh, that's 22. Thank you. Slide on back into hidey hole. Look, Wait, no, I get, I get that too. Out. Yeah. Yep. Oh, cool. That brings me full. Boop. All right. So next up is Capone, which I spelled wrong. My bad. That's weird. Is the dragon in the pool of blood, or did he jump out of the pool of blood? Like, is he standing? He's out of the pool, the pool of blood. blood. He's like, like right on the edge of it. 
So he's on the outside of it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to run uh, up to this dragon. And uh, I'm going to try to sneak around him kind of from behind. And I'm just going to start swinging right at his like, nutsack area. I'm going to do a nice little swing. Yeah, right there. Right at his nutsack. <laughs> and I'm attacking as hard as I possibly can. I am swinging directly on his bag. Like, absolutely on his balls. Is this the first time you're actually going to circumcise using the circumciser? I'm very excited I for this. Oh, so. we're going for it. Is that a hit? Not 18? We call this a bris. It has some pretty hard balls. Uh, yeah, you're not even able to hit it. Whoa. Oh, it's botched. You botched the circumcision. <laughs> oh, no. The balls are too small. The balls are too small. Okay, let's try <laughs> that again. Uh, all right, let's swing again. 27. That time you did some lopping, for sure. All right, I'm just using them like a punching bag over here with the axe. And uh, 15 damage. So, um, yeah, that's my turn. So 15 damage, that's my turn. All right, and uh, Faceless is up next. I'm going to cast Hexblade Curse onto the dragon. And I'm going to go up to its left-hand side at its leg. That's his right. Oh, no, that is his left. Uh, his right side, I mean. Okay. Look. And I'm going to swing my blade at him. 19 to hit. Is 19 strong enough, Kira? All right, you did hit, yes. At 20 damage. Okay. 18 to hit. No, that did not hit. Uh, and I'm going to command um, Belgira to attack from his left side. Okay. That hits. Okay. That hits. Right. Okay. Uh, and the damage output is... So, 11 bite damage and 9 punch damage. Right. And the storm need my control. That's the end of our turns. Okay. All right, and I am shaking in my boots. It is the dragon's turn. I feel like this is the first time a dragon's going to attack us, guys. I'm very worried. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, first of all... Um, Everyone that is within 140, 20 feet of the dragon. Oh, shit. Do a wisdom saving throw. Are we safe within the hidey hole? Nope, not from this. Crap. Oh, my God. Oh my it's like God. even me in the other room. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally everyone. Yeah, we're all within 120 feet. I know the dragon is there. 19 uh, for our Yeah, I failed. Right, so Faithless, oh, Capone... Oh boy. 11. As did did. <laughs> but some Ragnar. Uh -oh. We're all scared. Really scared. <laughs> I was scared before. Now oh, I'm wait. really scared. Can I have a thing wait. about this? I can't get scared. Okay. You're fine then. Yep. Your um, rage. Good call. Good call. Yep. I'm looking to see. I thought I might have a thing about this, but I might not. It just means you can't move towards them, right? You have it, you are frightened. Yeah. You could repeat the saving throw at the end of um, the turn. You have a disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while, you're, while he is in the line of sight. You can't move closer. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, scared at the moment, but I can use an action uh, to end it. Okay. And how, so who was that? Just to remind me? Uh, um, Ragnar, uh, all the people. At some, you and faceless. Okay, thanks. Um, I should do another one for yeah, Belgira too. Yep. Um, so it's was the moon. Yeah, he's he's frightened as well. <clears throat> and in the meantime. You see this dragon just kind of, you know, looking over there, and he uh, looks out at all of you, and he's like looking really, really, really angry right now. 
and see the rest of the field, the field real quick, see where everybody is. Okay. He um, he kind of heads over to, he looks, turns over there to where, um, like right beside him, he's over that direction towards Faceless. He's in that direction. And he lets out this big, huge amount of large air. This big, huge breath of air. It's really, really, really hot air. So anyone who is not immune to fire damage, make a constitution save. So is that attack damage? Uh, does, did he do an attack roll, or did he... Nope. Is, no? Okay, this is a, so... uh, just a regular, uh, it's one of his abilities. <laughs> Uh, that's cool. Um, I just needed to know which re reaction to do. Either use the dragon shield or use my X-Blade reaction. Um, so I'm using the dragon shield that I got from Turtle Island. And I half any damage he does to me. Right. You will take uh, 27 fire damage. Is that halved? That, no, that is the half. Okay, cool. I think... Uh, <laughs> 21 constitution save. Does that make it? That makes it. So you only take the 27. Okay. Oh, is it constitution? Yes. Uh, 10. Yeah. And I think we're all safe inside here, right? Because we're inside the hidey hole, but also. It's really line of those two people right now. Yeah, it's also in line with okay. them. Yeah, okay. We align. Yeah. Okay. All right. And now that's done with that. Oh, no. That is it for what it's going to do right now. All right, Ragnar is up next. All right. Um, so I think I'm going to try something a little unorthodox here. Don't throw another uh, grenade like a uh, it's <laughs> uh, yeah, Well, first off, mine won't hit as hard as that. But uh, so I want to kind of circle out of the hidey hole at the same distance away from the dragon as I was. This way it's not moving towards him. It's not moving away from him. Uh, I am going to attempt a level 4 banishment. It is a charisma 17 save. Ooh. succeeded to save and he is not banished Damn. uh can i can i can i circle back into the hidey hole please <laughs> smart move <laughs> and then my turn all right uh next up is rwa all right kira um he hit me for 27 damage because i saved right no, that's yes. not. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I made my save, so how much damage did he hit me for? Oh, yeah, 27, sorry. 27 and half. It was 54 originally, so 27 okay. and half. So I, I rolled, I get two checks to make because I have war casting, and my best roll was 16, so I think I failed. My concentration gets disrupted, so I don't have Dawn anymore, unfortunately. <clears throat> I'm going to cast uh, Channel Divinity one more time. I'm going to heal. Capone for 13, uh, uh, Faceless for 22, and the remaining balance out of 50 that I can heal, I'm going to toss it myself, and then I'm going to duck back be into the hidey hole. You said 13? Yeah, Capone gets 13, uh, Faceless 22, and then I'm taking the rest for myself. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, can I reroll that uh, that save to try to end the Brighton condition since my turn ended? Yep. At the end of your turn, you can roll it. Yep. It's wisdom, correct? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I'm probably going to fail it, so, uh, yeah. That's wisdom. Oh, it was 18. You're good. Uh, 
You're not sprite anymore. Hey, Carrot, real quick. Did I notice, does he, does this dragon look like it's undead? No, it does not appear to be undead at all. Okay, thank you. Looks like the process may have begun, but it never did transpire. Gotcha. Uh, so I guess the first thing I'll do is uh, use my stillness of mind to uh, get rid of my uh, frightened state. And uh, so this hooded figure over here, can I tell if he's doing anything? Is he like just chilling over there broodingly? I just um kind of flipping through books in the, in the bookshelf, not doing anything really vitally important right now. Hmm. I feel like he could be someone that maybe can help us get rid of the dragon. So, can I, like, sneak over to him? Yeah, sure can. And, oh, God, how do I want to do this? Uh, okay, I'm going to uh, take the rope that I have. And just kind of like try and try and hog tie him up real quick. I don't know if he's gonna want to help us if you hog tie him, but yeah, go for it. Uh, well, I I don't think he's gonna help us at all. I'm going to try and force him to help us. That is the uh, ultimate okay. goal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go for it. Uh, dex uh, dex check. Okay. Would it be an advantage or was it being a surprise tire? Yeah, That's doesn't need question. it though because he's able to uh, get the rope around this hooded figure. Okay. Now the hooded figure is uh, has got a little bit restrained there with the, the rope. Okay, uh, so now that he's restrained, I just want to say, can you call the dragon off? <laughs> and by the way, as you're looking at this uh, hooded figure, you notice that the, the, the person with the, under the hood looks fairly familiar. <gasps> oh, snap. Who, who is it? Who is it? Do an investigation check. See if we can... Is that what I need to do? It? Investigation check? Is he, like, wearing a mask or something? Let's see. Oh, shit. It's not a good roll. Ruby Roo. have a uh, discovered what <laughs> you what are you doing here well, uh-oh she looks at you real. and she's like this gives you the look a look what look and she gives you a smile Oh my what? god, it's it's his lover. Uh, is that all she does? <laughs> I haven't told her what she wanted. I didn't take anything else yet, so... This is like a telling the wave off. The battle is going on outside, raging. I, okay, I, 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 can I just drag her out to the other room? You can do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. You see, uh, you know, Retsum coming out with this person who's been hogtied. It's wearing a hood. And uh, you kind of like in Scooby-Doo, like when they, you know, unmask somebody. And you're like, you know, what the heck's going on here? And, like, you see him just, you know, to rip the mask off or whatever. Well, you see her, see him, like, you know, take this, this you know, this hood and, and, and then cover it. And all of a sudden, everybody just gasp as you see that this person is indeed <gasps> Raylene. Ranger. Um, what? Many locations you've seen multiple times. That bitch. Isn't the one that we first arrested and then she slipped down the grass? Yeah. Yeah. Then she gave us the gem that knocked me and Ori, uh, me and Retsum out, and uh, yep. yeah. And then we went to the turtles. Uh, 
Uh, and then you also yeah. recall that you have seen uh, that name in a particular book today. I, 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 uh... Yep. Yep. We got full drama going on. Full drama. I just ask her once again to, you know, call the dragon off. She goes, I don't know if I can. You see, they recruited me and I, you know, I didn't really want to join, but the same token, it's hard to pass up, you know, what they're offering, but I I, I did join and, um, um, well, when they were doing all that other stuff, I didn't want to join in, so I kind of hid back here. Um, but I have been reading up a little bit and maybe I can convince this dragon to stop attacking, maybe? Y um, you better, yeah. because do you remember my buddy Capone over there, the guy with the big axe? He's already thrown two people into the blood. Do you want to be a third? <laughs> Gee, if you're going to be that way about it, maybe I'll just let the dragon kill you all then. Call the dragon off! <laughs> <laughs> Then she goes back into the other room and starts looking, pouring through some books real quick. Meanwhile, the dragon is getting really, really mad at this point. Oh, God. I, I don't want to let go of the rope. <laughs> Maybe you should follow her to make sure she doesn't slip away. Again. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow her. You guys deal with the dragon. <laughs> Oh, gee, thanks. How noble of you. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Do you want another grenade? I can throw another grenade. <laughs> so if you guys want to continue yeah. on with the battle, what's who's next? Uh, I am up next. Tedred's up next. Um, personally, I was just very interested in watching a dragon circumcision, and I really want to see that go down, so I am going to command Tedred's hand. Tedred's hand! To go over and grasp the balls of the dragon and kind of pull them out and then pull the foreskin back a little bit or pull it out sorry pull it forward a little bit so that it'll be easier for capone to cut off thank you assists are important too man yep um teamwork <laughs> exactly and I'm really getting antsy. He's like, what the heck? Why are you grabbing my balls? What's up with this? What are you grabbing this for? What are you doing with this? Uh, you're not. <laughs> believe it or not, you're not the first I've grabbed the balls for with this hand. You may want to wash it a little bit afterwards. Dragon is definitely not happy. He's not having a good day right now. I uh, I give the dragon a little nod of uh, of apology, and then I end my turn. So, uh, is the dragon resistant to fire? I was assuming, but I just want to make sure. Don't know. Don't know. All right, we're going to go for it. I'm going to go and throw my flaming sphere just around the dragon. Um, so, with that on the flaming sphere, he would have to do, or she, whichever it may be, uh, take a... The two D six. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it could be. A uh, creature takes a uh, two D six fire damage. Mute. Which, uh, it's a mute. Okay. All right. Well, the flame sphere is just gonna sit on her. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Sun bathing in, in in the sphere right now. Yep. That's it. I'm gonna go back inside the hidey hole. Yep. All right. Next up is Capone. I got. I teed it up for you. Now it's time for you to do the. Uh, do the. Do the, the deeds. I. I, uh, I appreciate what my fellow friend over here did for me. So I am going to swing, uh, extra hard this time at the ball sack. And let's go. Yeesh. Nineteen. I don't think that hit right. She did hit. Oh, it did? Really? Okay. Okay, so we're circumcising over here uh, with 16 damage, and I'm going to do that another time for 20, so that hits. I will do that again. 
for 14 damage. The dragon is definitely crying out in agony and uh, and, and <laughs> like roaring and getting really, really, really mad now, but also in, in pain. Alrighty, and that's the... That is it. Could be meaning that would clean it. Yeah, I... <laughs> I just scream out to the dragon. I say, "Listen, you're in pain now, but it's gonna look very nice. It's it's gonna look very good when we're when it's all healed up." Uh, I'm gonna attack, and I'm attacking at disadvantage. Great. Fifteen, so I miss. I hit it on the second one, and I think it's a crit. Yep. Twenty-three. 23 damage. There we go, that's better. Um, and I'm going to use my Warlock spell to um, bring back one of the humanoid souls as a spectre. Um, that's 21 to hit on the spectre. Um, the dragon needs to do a uh, Constitution, a con DC 10 save. Dragon saved. Okay. And nine damage from my spectre. And then I'm just going to continue telling Balgira to attack. So he did nine damage, Balgira. Right. And that's the end of our turns. Okay, the dragon, really, really angry at this point, turns around to uh, closest person to it. I saved on that on the fighting too. I'll just remember that to do that. Yeah, you need to do your save. Yeah, here we go. Which I'll do mine as well. Starts to uh, grab its little. It starts biting and it starts clawing. It starts moving its tail around. In doing so, it does 16 points of damage, four fire damage from the bite, it does 12 slashing damage from the claw, and another 14 its tail. Yikes. Um. So was it four different attacks? Three. Oh, four, four, three. Oh, three, three different attacks, but the uh, bite does fire damage in addition to its regular attack. Okay, I missed one. I'm, I think I missed the second one. That's 16 pierce, four fire, of slashing, and 14 bludgeoning. Okay, I missed Cool. Right. And the dragon throws under the ground. See it just grab itself and it just like it at least just starts digging under the ground and burrows under the ground, moves into the other room. Can we, we get a do we get an attack of opportunity while it's burrowing? Uh if it's in the ground, I highly doubt it. Yeah. Wait, it's it, coming it into my room? Well, it's pretty big, so it's like it's it's still moving away and you can attack its nutsack as it's going to the next round. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have one anymore, it got circumcised. Um, Still is nuts, right. just no foreskin. And uh, it did a lot of damage to it, though. In the okay, that's good. That's good. I, I know what that feels like. All right, so uh, what was the saving throw on the frightened? Wisdom. That was wisdom. Uh, what, what was the number, though? Oh, um, the the number is um, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, so I I'm not frightened anymore. Uh, I guess I will move towards the other room. Uh, I guess I will hold my action and end my turn. Alright, I'll come out of the hidey hole up to Ragnar. I'll put my loving hands on him and give him a level 4 cure wound spell. And that is 34 health points to you. And uh, uh, that is Ragnar? my turn. I'm sorry, uh, faceless. I meant faceless, sorry. Oh, okay. Thank you my bad. Very much. My bad. I was, <laughs> gonna say, I, I was just I'm curious. I'm <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, yeah, that's what I. That's what I meant. Yeah, faceless. My bad. This is what we're going to this, this next room. We're going to have to re-roll initiatives anyway. So I think we're out of combat right now. Correct. 
Yes, you're out of combat. Gotcha. Oh, okay. So we're not doing turns anymore, I guess. Nah, not at the moment. Okay. Until we obviously enter the the other room to carry on the fight. All right, then I think my hidey hole ends. I reckon we got this. I reckon we can finish this dragon off, guys. Oh, the hidey hole lasts for eight hours, so it'll stay there. All but right. we. I'm gonna we'll give uh, I'm gonna give faces a couple more heals here. Uh, let's see. There's another eleven for you, faceless. Thank you. And another eight. And another eleven. So that was three first level spells that is casting you. Is anybody else hurt in bed? Does anybody need any healing before we go after this damn dragon? Uh, I'm at 74 me. out of 80. Uh, I'm only I'm 9 points 20. down, so I should be fine. Alright, hold on a second. I'll heal you in a second here. You're down 20, Kella? Yeah. Here, actually, I still got a lot of uh, spell slots, so why don't I do that? Because I'm right next to you anyways. So I can do a level 3 cure wounds. So you'll hear for here for nine. I'll do it one more time. Uh, so twenty. There you go. All right, should we do this? You ready, guys? Finish what, this do we know which way the dragon went to the left or? In the other room. Yeah, we just know it's in the other room, not where yet. Okay. Right before we go in, I'm gonna cast a concentration spell on us. So when you guys are ready to do it, I'm gonna cast it. I'm ready. I'm just gonna run straight up to the dragon. I'll go on the opposite side to everyone and try to tank it. Alright. I'm gonna cast Beacon of Hope on all of us. And, uh, you, everybody, right before we go in, I can maintain this up for a minute. And you guys will have plus, uh, or no, you have advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws. Ooh, that'll be useful. And, uh, in addition to it, I'll be able to max out my healing on you guys. Nice. Okay, that'll be useful. Should we all head in? Going into the uh, next room? Yep. Yep. All right. You walk into the next room, and then you see uh, Retsum and Raylene talking, and you see Raylene turn around. She's looking at the books, and she grabs something off the shelf, and then she walks over to the dragon. She walks to the dragon... Dragon kind of snarls at her, looks at her, and it kind of, you know, doesn't really do anything. Attack her. And then, as she walks to the dragon, she starts talking to the dragon. As she talks to the dragon, she hands something to the dragon. The dragon takes the item and flies off. Oh. And I scream, yeah, you run away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you didn't want any of this, did you? She puts the books back on the shelf, and then she uh, she heads back, and she looks at you, and she goes, Everybody all right? I'd be more all right if I knew what you were doing here. I told you. I uh, got recruited. I mean, well, they tried anyway. I mean, it's not that much fun. I mean, it's not like, you know, the best place I've ever been recruited from. I'd uh, rather go out and, you know... Uh, do ranger things and kind of deal stuff or uh, I don't know do something I don't know anything's more exciting than this I mean really I mean do you really want to stand around chanting and then you know bringing undead to life I mean it's not really exactly what they promised I mean I was supposed to be like undead but you know I don't know if I really want that anyway I mean do you want to live forever that's not exciting uh, anyway eh, things are never what they promise why are you helping the undead like I said, you know, they, they promised me stuff. But, you know, I guess, you know, Faceless would know about that since they were about to go approach you, uh, right? Uh, yeah. I guess so. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to turn down such a thing. I mean, it is kind of tempting well, to uh, have lots of power and live forever, but, you know, like I said, I would be bored. I'm already bored. Let's get out of here. She heads out. Yeah, can I go over to that chest? I'm guessing that would be a good place to look. I let Faceless and uh, uh, 
this uh, ranger No, I have a huge problem with you two being okay with dealing with the undead. Now, mm -hmm. Blood of Bowl as a boss um, religion. Was oh, I know about it. I know yeah. about it. I know exactly what it is. I don't practice uh, the undead side. Okay, well, you guys seem to be okay with this, and like it's like commonplace, but th th that's uh, it's a huge red line for me. It is common practice for this section of Blood and Ball. Uh, so I mean, you're endorsing you know, it? Have you, have, you, have you never been to Karnath? I mean, that's the official religion of Karnath. I mean, seriously. That's great, but that's not my that's not my point. You guys are like dealing with the undead. There's only one dealing with undead. It's eradicate them. Eh, maybe. Each his okay. or her own, I guess. Like I said, I'm I'm kind of over it myself, but uh, you know, it is their thing, I guess. But I guess we don't have to worry about it now. Uh, you kind of wiped out this whole section. But I would be watching out for uh, uh, Lady Elmaro. She's probably not going to be really happy. You kind of like destroyed this place. They're kind of her people. Hmm. Okay. Destroyed this place. Duly I haven't lit it on fire yet. <clears throat> so I got some burning spots. Yeah, we're on that one on spots on enough. <laughs> I start to feel uncomfortable by this uh, by this undead conflict, and I jump up and I'm like, "Hey, hey, guys, let's all just get along. Let's all just get along. All right." Be peaceful and nice. And then I slowed really? back because I realized I didn't actually do anything to help. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, cool music, but yeah, I gotta go. Um, I got things to do. See you later, though. Um, where, thanks whoa, for. Whoa, whoa. Uh, where are you going again? Things. Where are you going? Hold on, hold on. Just like you know, heads out. I cast a hold spell on her. <laughs> Gone. <gasps> I don't. There's no. That's sneaky. Yeah, Slip. she's dead next time I see her. She's dead. I'm not even going to ask questions. <laughs> she's going down. On sight. It's on sight. At, yeah, kill on sight. Immediately. No questions asked. If bad things follow her. The the shock when I saw it was her. Look, like, you were all... You guys were all thinking it was... Right, right, I would have... I would have been like, oh... Of course it's Rishahaha. Of course. But her? What the hell is she doing here? I let Faceless know, look, I know you're a long time companion with us, and I respect that, but you have some dealings with the undead, and I have a huge problem with that. So, if it comes down to it, I will take you out and anybody associated with you. I'm just letting you know right now. Oh, you can try. No, I there, I won't try. I will take you out. And I start to feel super uncomfortable, so I just back out a little bit because I do not like conflict. <laughs> should, we, should we see how would that will play out right now? You guys, you guys just want to, <laughs> you guys want to just have some magic pot real quick so we can chill out a little bit. I don't fuck around with undead. Magic pot one, sounds great. One way to deal with them. I run back into the room. He's like puff, puff, puff pass, pass. Pot, and a few of you are feeling, you know, starting to feel the effects a little bit. And uh, um, in the meantime, you know, if anybody wants to search the room while uh, there's the, uh, I wanna some, some vibes going you... on, then free. I, wanna I, feel like the, I feel like the magic pot would help me uh, perceive things more uh, clearly. <laughs> uh uh, so can I do, I guess, uh, an investigation check uh, or perception check? What do I roll? I roll investigation. Let's give it a uh, shot. This list did not fall. Oh. <laughs> nah, I don't see shit. <laughs> you're, 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 you're definitely, uh, yeah, you're seeing, you're not seeing anything other than, you know. Just, I'm you seeing know. stuff, but not the yeah, stuff. Exactly. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so WT, do you class demons as undead? No. Devils? No, I don't think that is the same class. But uh, you you seem to have a, a uh, uh, an understanding and uh, a, an uncomfortable communication with the undead elements. 
I was misleading them, making them think that I wanted to join them to find out what was actually going on here. So I think you're misinterpreting me trying to deceive them to I was willingly supporting them. Well, in the past, you have run into portals willy-nilly and somehow escaped. You have a vast knowledge of Vol, which is like the epitome of dark, evil, undead magic. So you're, you're, you're piquing my interest right now because this is what I'm clearly against. So you've traveled with us for a long time. I'm giving you the benefit of doubt. I've been a long faithful companion of yours. I've made sure that you've stayed alive, but your knowledge and experience with this is giving me question. To be fair. So you have to excuse my uh, leeriness of what you're about. Uh, to be fair, when he ran into the portal all willy-nilly, he got out of it with a uh, little invisibility and a rope trick to pull him out. I just... uh go over to uh my my good old buddy uh rwa and kind of wrap one of my ring wings around them i was like here come on come on let's just let's just get some fresh air here I had to take take a look at this and and look what i found it's, it's shiny and i just like pull a piece of platinum out of my coin purse it's like Ooh. you gonna throw <laughs> fireball at me no 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 no, no more fireball no more fireball <laughs> starting to feel comfortable the with the conflict here. again I'm i run sorry. over to capone and <laughs> yeah, i just start yeah, tugging yeah. on his armor and i'm like Nice circumcision. Nice circumcision. Nicely done there. I have Great two job. problems in this life. Undead and another group, which you guys don't know about. So, I have a problem with undead. Big time. It, maybe we could do something about that. Why don't you tell us more? Maybe Who's this for group? another time. Maybe for another time. Just if it's undead, it needs to be taken out. That's all there is to it. Okay. I, I won't okay. fight that standpoint. Okay, so we found three. Um, someone found three pots somewhere. Do you know? Yeah, not the good ones. Those Ragnar. Right? Yeah, the bad kinds. Or not the bad kinds, but yeah. the, the less good kinds. <laughs> the regular pot kind. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna say I don't think it's necessarily a bad kind. Oh. While you're all looking around, oh, oh yeah, yeah, you guys are pretty, pretty, pretty high. You're not seeing much. Right yeah, now. there's some, there's some second hand uh, <laughs> yeah. going on right now. Everybody's getting a little woo. <laughs> feeling good. We're feeling good after that. Uh, after that. While battle. you're looking yeah. around, you do see a, a small little note that um kind of indicates that perhaps, um, Raylene was heading toward a certain town that uh, Faces would find. Extraordinarily familiar um, on Dare. If I remember right, Face, aren't you from on Dare? Yes, I am. Uh, uh, getting some bad stuff uh, yeah. there. You also find, um, as you're as you're kind of searching around, looking around, some emerald dice. It's made of emeralds. It's about two hundred fifty. Are they special or decorative? You appear to have some sort of uh, speciality to them. Uh, the loaded dice. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. arcanaing these. I'm sorry. Uh, to 21 on the loaded dice, please. Oh, fuck. Yep, so you do have uh, some sort of idea of what these are to a degree. Is, this, is that a good old fuck or a bad old fuck? That sounded bad. It sounded uh, bad. Okay, so uh, a little of column A, a little of column B. What? Are, 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 are we rolling the dice or should we not roll these dice ever? <laughs> what's, what's the uh -huh. determination? So, um,. Imagine, if you will, that the dice are like a deck of cards. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I know where this is going. On the outcome, might get something good. Or you could end the world 
Or you know exactly what item I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. Can I roll them, Kira? Please don't roll them. Christ, this is really not an item that you want to use. Yeah, this is a... <laughs> that, like, no. With I, that I said, say, with that it said, literally could kill you. I think I think we know who should hold these because no one will be able to take them from him. Uh, all right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you go thinking about putting this kind of power in his hands, listen to my 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 theory behind this though. Right, <laughs> these are very powerful, and. Yeah. Yes, we shouldn't definitely. let people roll these. And there's really only one person here that I trust to not let him, anyone just roll them. Like, he might roll them, and that is a risk, but... <laughs> well, it's definitely not Capone, then. I think Capone should hold them, because nobody's going to be able to take oh, them from him. He's going to roll them for sure, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's gonna, like, <laughs> he's gonna, like, he's gonna, he's just gonna roll them. He's, you, know what? Roll them. You, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be fair here. Uh, so these are similar to the deck of many things, and for whatever reason, the barbarian always ends up with the deck. So, I mean, by rule of thumb, I, I, I guess we give him the Capone. Oh, I just, well, he's gonna roll him. You're guaranteeing he's gonna roll him. I, I, I don't I, think he's gonna roll them. I don't I think do. he's gonna do it. I do. I, I will bet all he, my net worth he will roll them. I would he, never. He will them. roll them. He, he will roll would them. never. Never. He's lying to you right now so that he can I get them so that he can roll them. <laughs> uh, two right. against two. Hold on. I want to do. I want to do. Um. Uh, uh. What is that? An insight check on Capone. Whether or not he's being honest with me. Me too. Me too. I would love to do an insight check on him. I got a 16. Why don't I just take them? I would never. 25 on my insight. <laughs> Are you being honest? Yes, I just rolled it. Oh, it's Capone being honest, I mean. Oh. Yeah. Do I have to be honest here? <laughs> yeah, you have to tell the truth. You have to tell the truth. Okay, I would immediately roll them, yeah. <laughs> Within half well, a second, I told you. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think there's only two or three of us that would not immediately roll them if we gave them to them. We have to do a pet. Whoever gets these so, uh, pets, roll them. Pass me the dice. <laughs> okay, okay. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. We can, we because someone's gonna roll them, right? <laughs> so here's what we do. We we let one roll. Whoever ends up with them gets to do it one time. What? <laughs> At least. Why? Just a freebie. Why? Um, why one well, okay. time? Why, why is the minimum required? So you have to roll them one time. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, so. Well, more, it's, you don't have to, but you get a freebie roll. What if Again, we all go once? What if we all take turns? <laughs> because the temptation is not going to be irresistible. It doesn't <laughs> matter if you put them in the most steadfast person's hand no, they're I, gonna roll them i guarantee like if there is no other option whatever then i would roll them but that would have to be no other option that, you that's... would also need to know here's... what the outcomes are well here's that's my only if problem you got your back up against the wall and you got no other option then yes okay here's but... here's my only problem these are like very strong yes so I know. I if know, someone someone were to run up on you and try and take them, they're much more likely to be able to take them from you than they would be the big guy with an axe. I should probably hold them. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. I, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, 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 Wait a minute. I can hold them. them. I have thunderclap. I can fuck some people up. I've been known to kill and slay it's, it's, all of you it's not about damage it's it's about can you resist controls can you I resist, can resist being taken down clearly here's okay. the other thing he's gonna forget he has them really soon uh, yeah he's not yeah, even, he he even, <laughs> even, <laughs> even equip them you know what i mean like 
<laughs> I don't even know what's going on or what we're fighting about. Actually, we're all so. gonna like we're all gonna eventually want to roll them. He's gonna roll them once. Forget he has them. No, he's not. No, he's what not. Are they he, for? He's what are they for? He he's got a boner right now to get these. Right now. <laughs> I guarantee it. He's got a boner right now. I am full torque. Do I still have to be honest? I still have to be honest. <laughs> no more honest. You don't have to be honest anymore. Uh, uh, just let's, just put a vote. let's just uh, let's just do a vote. I say, yep, give them to Capone. I, I, I vote no. Capone. No. I say no. So that's two two Capone, two yes. no's. I say yes. Capone says yes. That three three yes, three no. Wait, how is it 3s3 now? 3s2 now, 3s2 now. Coops? I'll let you go first. <laughs> no, 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 I want to hear yours before I vote. You know what these are. I have no idea what so you guys fun. are talking about. Yeah, like, I, I have I zero know. idea what you guys are talking about right now. I've just been sitting here like, what is going on? I don't know exactly what these are. I just know what they are like. He can you explain what they are like? They are like the deck of many things, which yes. uh, it, it's like a deck of playing cards where every card has a predetermined outcome. When you pull a card, you could pull something like two uses of the wish spell, which is great, or catastrophic event that ends the world. That sounds kind of fun. Okay. No, we're not. He can't have those. No, I need them. I need uh, those. They, right they there, need for you protected. saying you need them is the he's, reason why he's you shouldn't have them. Right now. I, I guarantee it. I need it. those. Uh, so, free two. Uh, we're free so, if two. he gets these, gets these dice, he's gonna just cream himself. But also, himself. Think, about, think about who, if somebody else gets these dice, that isn't us. I feel like I could be responsible. Dude, the next episode, you're... the next episode, we're going to run up to, like, a troll. And he's like, I roll the dice immediately. <laughs> no, 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 we're going to be good. We're going to be good. <laughs> I feel like I could be responsible with them. I, I think they should go responsible. to either me, WT, or Bondo. But we're, free to we're the three free. most level-headed people here. I would say I'm the most level-headed. I would never I use know. Them. <laughs> We are currently at a 3-2... For... A uh, vote here right now. Okay. Capone, you are the most impulsive of all of us. I would say, I would call Don't that. Happens. I roll the dice. <laughs> uh, I would call forget that. that. He would be like, I throw the dice at the enemy. Okay, I have a compromise. Give it to the enemy to let them roll it. Yeah. I have a compromise. We give them to Capone, but only if Capone lets us put them in his butt so that it's not easy for someone to just take them or and he's not easy for him to roll it without someone else helping him pull them out. <laughs> I got... Uh, listen, I need them in my hands. I just want to feel them. I just wanna, I wanna look that's what's them. making me nervous. Like, if, if that's... If, <laughs> I'm going to go with no unless you agree to those terms. Okay. Who has the dice right now? Who's the, the, right the last vote that we're waiting on? Free, I think free. I might be closest. Two. Uh, who has who, who has the dice who, right now? I'm just gonna grab the dice. the dice. Who found no. the dice? Actually, I think they're just lying on the ground right now. Okay, I'm gonna grab the dice. I'm picking them up. You're not gonna grab them. I I'm jump on you. I pick up the dice. I jump on you. I attack <laughs> you. You're gonna take this face. Hold on, come on. I already have them in my hand. I just wanna look at them. No, you don't. I have a hold. No, I attack you. You're done. You're down on the ground. I will attack you. I'm gonna start twisting your nipples that are showing up. Purple nerfle. I am raging right now. I look over at Ted Red. I'm like, you better get that mage hand out and grab another ball sack here. <laughs> I just want to look at the dice. Let me just like, can someone just pass them to me? Oh my god, he's going to roll immediately. Okay, no, Ragnar, no. it's up to you, Ragnar. You're the last vote because I'm going to go with no if, they do, if you don't agree to the terms. I agree to putting them in my hand. Okay, if I can insert them in my in my butthole, I'll no, I'll not. take them. No, it's got to be it. it's got to be someone else. Right, so, Everyone's so, had someone stick something in their butthole at some point, guys. We all got to do this at some point. I had it's... worms. I had a worm in my butthole. Remember? Yeah. So you already got and room in there. Missile. Yeah. You, you, we've we've opened up the cavern cavernous element there so that there's room to put stuff in. So I it's think I think it comes down to Ragnar. I think it comes down to Ragnar. Yeah, Wisdom save 16 on Capone. Oh my god, please. Ragnar, think about this. this I, think for the, I think for the safety of the team, I should hold on to these. 
if I knew I think the, the safety of the world possible, safety for the team, he should not have them. I feel like I, I so, protect these. I have so that, grown. That, I've stopped using thundercloud. That's the thing that I'm <laughs> having an issue with here. I don't know the possible outcomes. On Nobody does. Guys. It's random. It could be good. It could be bad. But like, but, you can't but just whip still, them out at the. It still places. has. Oh Jesus Christ! I think it should only be used when um, absolutely necessary. I mean, of course. I do not know the outcomes of these. They are simply emerald dice you found. Yeah. Just have a vibe that they are very similar to a, a deck of many things. Doesn't mean not they're exactly the same as a deck of many things, but they have the same basic concept of a deck of many things. Can we do like an arcana check or something to make sure? How we found out that they're like I, the deck. You know of that's many what things. they are. We so know what they you are. You can roll it, and you will get a random. All right. Thing will he happen shouldn't have it. I really do think it should be. Okay, he shouldn't have it. I really do. All right, the, really the vote think. right now is 3-2 three, or 3-3, three, three, depending on if he puts them up his butthole. Yes. Bottom no, he doesn't put them up his butthole. Somebody else, put Someone them else has to put them up, I'll yeah. Put the, I'll put them in my butthole. I'll, no. I, I'll put them so up. I'm pretty good with buttholes. No, I've, I've removed worms. I put no. knuckles up. I, or I'm or pretty you, good with them. Or you don't okay, get to put, put them up there. Because you're just going to put them in the crack. These need to go deep. I'm going to shove them deep. Yeah. I've had uh, Retsum's hand up my butthole, and I know that he can reach deep, so... It goes deep, I do. He like, wants, him to, yeah, wants him to have these. Yeah, it's in the butthole. These hole. things aren't, are going far. This, this is not a normal group, by the way. I don't know if you guys know it or not. This is <laughs> I'm not pretty sure group. this conversation happens in every D&D group. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is normal. This is yeah. normal. I don't think he should have... Oh my god, you guys. Okay, wait, but okay, hold on, hold on. Bon, uh, Ragnar, yeah. If you say yeah. no, then that breaks that uh, makes the decision easy. Uh, I'm leaning no right now because the, he I know that lean one way well, or, or another. He's gonna, gonna, going on he's gonna say, in the "Oh, I'll, I'll put him in my butt," and then he'll roll them immediately. He'll take well, a no, shit and he'll no, roll. He'll be, he'll be, uh, they'll be up the butt. But also, it, <laughs> it, it wouldn't make it easy because if 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 Ragnar says no, then that would be. Four no, but if we're sticking them up the butthole, Coops is saying yes, and that's yeah. four four. Yeah. Oh, dude, yes, but uh, consider this a hard fart, and he rolled them. Right. <laughs> he made actually, no. Them inside that's because it, actually no, it would be it would be four three. It would be four three because Coops. I, I was counting as as a no originally, but if it's going up the butthole, he's a yes. So it's exactly. Four, three, yes. And and I feel like all we got to do is ask. Hey, whatever she was using to stop the farts from coming out, and then that way we'll be uh, we'll be fine. So I think I think that. Oh Ted my! Red to hold the dice. I want Ted Red to hold the dice. Oh my God, guys! Mm, I don't know. I, I don't think he. I don't think Ted Red would. Uh, I think that's a lot of responsibility. I feel. I don't like... think he's strong enough to hold them from a bad person who I wants will them. Protect Thank him. you. I'll try not to take that as a as an insult, but yeah, no, I kind of agree on that. Uh, I could put them in the bag of holding. But can you stop someone from taking the bag of holding? I'll just climb in the bag of holding. Then they're going to take you along. Then they have the bag of holding and <laughs> you. That doesn't solve our problem. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to leave the top open and just start casting things like fireball out of the bag. <laughs> Just hand grenades, left I just, and right. I, uh, I, I think we shove them up the butthole. I think I think the butthole is the best option. One person that's the best option. shoves it in. You take whatever uh, whatever medical emergency K was going through yesterday to make sure that there's no accidents, and we just you know have to put some yeah. trust in. And you know who told her how how to fix that? Me. Okay, so yeah, exactly, you know exactly what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's perfect. I know perfect. exactly what to do, so let's not do that. Do we have trust issues? Like, I think we have, have a little trust I, issues, you know, and the I way to solve trust, trust your, issues your, uh, is to trust. I don't know. It doesn't. I don't I, trust. I think we should trust each other. You need to start with trust to to I break those trust I issues. I don't. Tr I don't trust. It's really not about trust. It's about history. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm shoving him up his butthole because we oh, already no, have the vote to do it. No, we're not doing that. No, it's four, it was four to three. I'm gonna attack you, bird. <laughs> 
It's four to three. I'm shoving him up his butt. Chicken. Puddle. Chicken. You know what? I'm Papa. I'm okay with this scenario because for once she's not attacking me. <laughs> Chicken. I'm gonna take you down. Can, can we not put them in my butthole? I'm gonna thunderclap all of you right now. Stop it. Where's where's okay? So who's getting these dice? I'm put shoving them up your butthole right at I this think, moment. I, I feel think like that's the real should have the dice. Who should have the dice? RWA. WT. RWS. Thank you. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I don't. Th <laughs> you know, with all due respect, I just don't feel like he's strong enough. I feel like he's just. Um, I will be stolen. Well, the one thing he has going for him is he has the protection of the gods. I've yeah. I've already slid them right I'm, on up. I'm an angel, the, the I'm an no angel of the gods. Invisible, visible to you. They are now. Um, they are up the butt. Yeah, Thank you. I appreciate the gentleness that you uh, use as well. Right? Like I'm good. I'm good around the butts holes. I, I can vouch I, for I, that. You were very gentle. I didn't even. Uh, My fingers uh, are very nimble. Thank they can do a lot. I have a well, feeling. Don't, don't let the guy in, at, at the home city he's know. He's going to take he a giant spit and be done with it. Like, what are we going to do? He's going to take a spit. He's going to flush him down the I, toilet. I shoved them deep. <laughs> they're, they're, it's going to be a while. Bullet, it will start coming out. I mean, like, it's, it's something. <laughs> it's going to be like gum. It's going to be up there for like seven years. That doesn't, that's not true. <laughs> we got to use them sometime, like, like next one. Next time, no? <laughs> See, All there right, you so go. Always, <laughs> I reach out and pull. throw the dice. <laughs> Is there any chance that we? Can I literally right am gonna now? put him under holding every single game. He's gonna be under holding with me. Uh, I need a, a DM. Will never ever. Um, so, since somebody made the horrible decision to shove these up someone's ass, uh, they will not roll if he jumps up and down, right? <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> okay. <coughs> He's By horrible, you mean amazing. Game. Game. That's what I'm gonna do. Every time I have, I'm gonna put a put a whole person. <laughs> up and in I have plenty of them to do. Anybody that voted for this, I accuse you all of being an enablers and responsible for what goes what happens. And anybody that forward. voted for this, I will never heal. I'm done. I'm rolling I'm these dice say, right now. I, I was okay ready. with letting WT. <laughs> I'm starting dice. to push real hard. I'm trying to get these dice out. I don't know what's happening here. Kira, um, Kira, what does he need to roll? Yeah, what does he need to roll to try and get the dice out? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the last thing I know. Oh my god, guys. Concentration check. I'm going to put curses on Capone. Thunderwave. Oh, 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 they're, they're pretty tied up there. I don't think you quite quite forced them out. <laughs> Ori, how Nicely deep? done. What? Nicely done, Retsum. You did it. You did I it. I told you I'm from deep. Look, <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's Wait, gonna be easy to get them out. how many shifts you have to go through? <laughs> I think a lot. Yeah, like that's how deep they are. Perfect shit. <laughs> this is like this is like when you go to take a kid to and I get an X-ray and you find out there's a car in there and they need to get an operation to get it out. That's how deep they are. Really That's not the case. reason why know. they have to get really, cars. Oh really my god! Story. <laughs> <laughs> I may have uh, encountered that in my life. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm worried now. Um... But you see, you don't have to be worried because the dice are not gonna come out because he needs to have like a I'm worried. Hit. I'm I'm worried. I bet it's going to be really interesting if he ever decides to do that because you'll be like in the middle of a battle and all of a sudden you'll just see <laughs> just squatting and put on his pants and like start just... <laughs> oh yeah if I run away from the battle you know what I'm going to do if I need my privacy if I want to ask for privacy yeah Oh my, oh my gosh! You guys are crazy. Somehow this is this is going to bite us in the ass eventually. Oh yeah, God. it's yeah. gonna be fine. Can I selfly take them out of his asshole. No, no, they're stuck in there. I no, have a. Good. I got. I rolled a twenty-nine. I mean. Oh shit! <laughs> they stealthy grab. There's there's no consent <laughs> here. I have. There's no consent here. I didn't ask for yeah, consent. Change the uh, hand. What is this? Oh, what is this? Yeah. There's no consent I, I, here. I just want to point out there was no consent in the finger incident either. You, hey, Kira, would she need to do a slaughter hand as well as the stealth check? 
because uh, technically she's going to stealthily, she's going to stealthily put her hand in there to get the dice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm running away. So, Alright, I got a slide of hand. Stealthily slide. That's pretty stealthy. You just slide I hand think his in. anus is stretched enough. Because you can't quite, you see, we're still weren't really. But I think his anus is stretched enough that it, my hand can fit up there. So. I was gonna say thorn whip him. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Yes, do thorn whip on him. And then pull him do you ten mean feet. Do thorn whip? What's going on? Guys, I have dice in my butthole. We gotta be gentle here. Yeah, yeah. yeah you could be rolling the dice. dice in his butthole. Oh, what happens then? How the he hell do we go from fighting a dragon to this? <laughs> <laughs> you guys brought this on yourselves. I should not have said anything about what these were. You I shouldn't have, you should have just business. put them in the fucking bag, man. I was just minding my business, enjoying my dice in my butt, and you guys now are trying to take them out. I didn't think anyone would let me put them in the bag. That's why I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck. Hopefully everybody enjoyed tonight's uh, adventure. <laughs> I think we made a huge Hopefully mistake. I... Very interesting. No. I'm going to be shaking my head all week long from this. <laughs> uh, uh, I also agree we may have made a huge mistake in huge planting mistake. dice in his ass, but um... Cause he's Great gonna have choice. one or two shits Great and choice. then he's gonna roll them while he's flushing. It's either the yeah. big mistake or the greatest idea I've ever come up with. And I'm leaning Great more choice. towards the center of those because I have no idea what's gonna happen. But I'm excited right. and yeah, scared. I'm not choice. excited. I'm, he's gonna, I'm he's gonna roll scared. those dice as soon as he can. I can. I'm telling you right now. Oh, absolutely. Like, if, if I, I, I kind of. See, there you go. <laughs> but they're deep. Chaos. They're deep. There you go. I'm gonna they're be there to be used. They're yeah. There. Now. Yeah. I, I uh, warned you. All. I warned you off. All right. Why did you kill him? I'm not gonna lie. Are you worried about undead? I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna say this. If they ever come out of your ass, no more than one roll. Yeah. You only get one roll. I think. Right. No, they can roll, you can roll them gets to roll. like 20 times, I think, right? But I really oh would like God, the hand we give him present. that power? Oh, my oh, God. absolutely. That was the right call. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. So I'm like going to steal them. many things, each outcome can only occur once. When they come out, they're being stolen. So if he gets a good outcome, that's one less good outcome that can ever come out of it again. Yeah, so see, you guys are always, see, you guys, I'm an optimist. You guys have to be optimists. You guys are thinking negative. There's good stuff. Are you good optimist stuff Prime. Yeah, but if you know anything about the deck of many things, it's weighted to the negative. Yeah. But if you know anything about Capone, it's weighted to the negative, too. Yeah, I don't know, but we are assuming that's what this is. Hold on. Besides, um, they're deep in the butthole. He can't yeah. get them out. You couldn't even finger them out. So I mean, I think they're yeah. safe up there for now. I feel I feel like they need to have more uh, positive outlook on this. I think they're they're uh, immediately thinking to the negative. I will feel better when uh, they are totally forgotten about. Exactly. Right, roll them. Uh, roll them right now. <laughs> I'll pitch you roll them right now and forget about them. I or do you want to go back in his cavern? I bet you he hasn't even put it in his inventory yet. Oh, they're not there yet. No, they're, they're <laughs> never <go up> there. <laughs> They'll never be there. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got a better question. Bruno, did you ever add that ring of acid resistance? I did, I did, I did, I did. I did. That one oh, was nice. Good. Okay. Oh. Yeah, in, in inventory we have equipment, backpack. I don't see asshole on there. We might have to email D&D Beyond about that because uh, they're missing a section. Since that's where we pretty much store all our stuff in this group. So. Yeah, exactly. Extras. Do extras. Yeah, extras. All right. Notes. Astras. Oh, and... Kira, uh, I think it's been long enough for him to do another cons um, role now, isn't it? No, I, no. There's no way it's been long enough for him to try it again. <laughs> I think it is. Like... He's going to eat, start eating, are, like, lots of bran and prunes. Faceless, you are literally <laughs> yeah. trying to end the world. Have you ever seen the dance to save the universe? It's like that. It's like, it's only right when we're, like, the universe is about to end. Will you squat down and 
Retsum and Retsum yeah. will stick your finger, his fingers up there to pull him out, and then give him a little roll. That's What's the last. He's gonna do it, he's gonna uh, do it when he sees them. like he's live gonna live a little. He sees a, a rabbit out in front of him. Oh, that's just now. Kill the rabbit. Not you guys gotta resort. live a little. Live on the edge. <laughs> live on the edge. Roll them. Roll the oh dice. God. A butterfly came across me. Throw the dice. <laughs> Roll the, they gotta live a little. You guys are, uh, you know, you gotta live a little here. <laughs> Oh my god, no. All right, All right. good games, everyone. This one, this one, yeah. interesting for sure.